Uh, all right, so I'll do the recap. I'm actually, like I said, going to give you a little bit of the perspective of the pirates you guys just encountered. Um, I, like I said before, I feel like I owe you that for my poor word choices for the last session that might have got you guys into more trouble than I had hoped for. Um, so, unlike Skywar, I do need a script because I will forget things. <laughs> So, uh, just to start, uh, from the perspective of the captain, you know, she'll say to herself, this day started off so well. We set sail for more trade ships to raid, recruit, dispatch, the normal, the normal sort of thing. The evening neared, and the sound of bells ringing in the sea wind caught our ears, and it was not accompanied with the noise of gunpowder. This, this met another ship under the siege by the Sahagan, and easy leftovers for us. We would have expected a normal snatch and grab, but maybe get a few deck hands to work the deck until the time I find out that they should should have wished for gills or worthy for the shore. But it was a it was not a normal ship. The crew were feeble enough, but they had passengers that had had seen a blade before, and they challenged our operations. The fight ensued. My crew made quick work of their deck hands. The passengers of the trade ship sprung into action in response. I saw a dragonborn warp across the ship act like he could walk on air and move through the shadows and appear where he shouldn't have. I saw two, or saw two drow, not one, but two drow on the surface, one that could materialize blades with by mere words and action, and, a, and then also a woman that could appear out of thin air. I'm holding on to the broom in hopes that it teaches me how to go invisible. Otherwise, I'll just use it for, to have the crew uh, clean my, uh, my uh, captain's quarters. Um, and then a small child took the helm <laughs> and disrupted several of my crewmen. She had some strong words for such a small thing that I must admit took me off guard. It wasn't for my brother and crew to snap me back into alert and to the matter at hand. Uh, I, I'm, I'm slightly embarrassed to admit, and I won't admit it out loud, that if it weren't for the Sahagans and the lack of a crew, it might have had a different turn of events. Um, I do respect their gumption, but for that reason, it's a shame that they must die for their defiance. And then she hears the voice of her brother call her name, and she responds, "What now, Victor?" Um, and she's dressed in the wounds of her uh, from the battle that just you know came to pass, uh, trying to rest and recover a little bit. And you hear her brother Victor say, "Did you notice the girl with the red hair?" who bore the mark of Merlin. Do you think it's possible we found the ones he's been looking for? They would be worth a whole lot more than robbing all these ships in the bay like we have been. And there's a slow pause between her and her brother. And she responds to him saying, I believe by the pirate code, I have complete authority to deal with my captures as I see fit. And the pirate captains have not yet come to a conclusion on his demands on our involvement in this war yet. I also don't see it fit for us to kill his bounty and incur his wrath. Victor responds to Sienna and says, I'll support what you decide, Sienna, but as much as I want to see them hang, uh, it, it may come at a penalty to ourselves as well. And that's where I'm going to end the summary. So... We find ourselves with Skywar on the back of the boat. <laughs> um, we're following the boat, I should say, as a, uh, a reef shark until he ran out of stamina and has turned into a spider and is on the back uh, side of the boat. I am uh, not a spider. Not, oh, you're not a spider. I am going to cast a spider climb. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. So, Skywar is on the back of the boat. You are in your cells. And you guys uh, see uh, the men kind of have gone through most of your stuff. You guys have rested for, did you guys decide an hour or two? Yep. Uh, we're still deciding. And I just realized in my pet bag, I have a scroll of pedigree. <laughs> so what? I don't know what that, that's going to mean. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Basically, so noble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably says it in undercommon, though. Oh, of course it's in undercommon. 
Um, so you guys are in your cells. You guys are bound with manacles. All your belongings have been taken from you, uh, except for you know your cloaks and uh, your cloaks. Uh, he, they did not notice your ring of protection. I did not say that. I don't know how I missed that when I was taking everything else. But uh, you only have your cloak and your armor, and no weapons, no packs. Uh, you are all bound in manacles. And what did I, else I still have the tiara because I convinced him that it was just costume. Correct. You did. You did pers- or convince the the fool that you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that it was not of a value. Um, you did pull that one off, as well as Cronus did talk him out of uh, inspecting his jar of acid vomit, which was a good move as well. Um, <laughs> very, very nicely played. Um, so, but I, uh, I'm just trying to think: is there, is there anything on your person that I have not specifically called out that you're wondering if you have or haven't? I just don't. Again, I'm, I'm I want to give you guys all the information because your next actions are very important. <laughs> <laughs> they basically uh, took all of the bag stuff, right? So anything yeah. that we basically uh, so, have on our person would stay so there. So I would still have like my hat and my cloak. A hat and cloak is good. Uh, we're not seen as a weapon, nor is inherently magical. Obviously, we no, that's not true. Eh, they're pirates. <laughs> what was your say? What were you asking, Lorna? Oh, I was just gonna say. Obviously, the bracers stay on because they. I can't even physically take them off. Or no, I can't take them off, but they won't transfer. Whatever. Um. And then uh, uh, they did they did not take the bracers off of you. No, they they did not take any armor or uh, magical, or they did not take any armor or yeah non obvious jewelry off of you guys. Yeah. Uh, the amulet of the royal family. I actually was looking at that, and I was pondering it. I did not say it in the last session, even though some of the things I did not say or speak to. What's that? Whatever you um, want to do, I don't I, care. Okay. Um, then the amulet would, they would have grabbed just because okay. it looks like a piece of jewelry, right? Cool. Um, I'm looking at the other stuff in the inventory. Yeah, I mean, everything, all that other stuff is in your bag of holding, right? Anything in here is in my bag. But they would have taken the whole bag, so I don't have anything except for the bracers. Okay. But in the Discord channel, like the. Correct. Is that all in the magical bag? That I'm is holding? all in the bag. Except for anything that says under given to characters or donated or storage at Dragon Blood Pub. That is where it is. And bag of holding, okay. specifically that section, is in the bag of holding. Did they okay. take the golden sheet of paper? If it's in your that bag, was on that was it was in your bag. It's yeah, everything that was on your person has been like your bag has been taken. So everything else in your bag is definitely taken. I'm saying rings or cloaks and armor pieces. That stuff is wait, you're still wearing your cloaks and your armor pieces. You're just you don't have anything else on you. Okay, that's just going to be weird if they mess with that. That's going to leave for instant conversation. (laughs) Um, So you're not sure what's happening to your belongings besides the fact that you've seen them kind of keep it outside the brig. The men have kind of been going through, looking through things, taking some stuff out of your bags and belongings, shifting some stuff around. Um, And like I said, you do have... uh, uh, Pirate man, or one of the pirate guys, like checking in on you guys periodically, kind of seeing, just keeping an eye on the room as being and following orders from the captain. Uh, and you guys are in the brig. What would you guys like to say or do before? Or, well, actually, you know what? Before we do that, because let's go ahead and help Skybor for a minute, and then we'll come back and see what the group would like to do. So, Skybor, what would you like to do right now? Uh. Do I have exhaustion? I don't know how long you were sprinting after the ship, 
but you said before you got tired, you were going to, to cast that spell and climb up on board. So I imagine that you exhausted your dashes, if that's what you're asking. Well, uh, I was referring to the fact that we had, well, I hadn't slept at all because I was like staying up during that entire uh, time before when the uh, fish people attacked. And I still yeah. hadn't slept. So I wasn't sure if. Uh, oh, if I yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I don't think the opportunity has passed for a long rest quite yet. So I will say no for now. But that's a good point that you bring up that we're very much so nearing that point where we are going to take a long rest. But does short rest avoid that? Like if you take multiple short rests, does that avoid it? Or do you have to take a long rest at some you point? You have to take a long rest. Okay. So that's a fantastic point, Skyward. No, you're not exhausted, but we are very, we're on the cusp. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am going to uh, stealthily climb my way into the uh, the ship. If there's like a, a porthole on the side of the ship, I'm going to peer in, and if it's clear, I'm going to stealth in. Okay. Uh, you do are able to make your way around the ship. Um, go ahead and make a stealth check. Uh, before you try to peek through that port. Okay. So you are able to start to kind of lean in to get a glance of the, uh, of the room. Uh, it's kind of hard. You're trying to look past the, the cannon um, that's you know still kind of protruding through the porthole. Uh, make a perception check. Um, so you... With the with the glance that you have to take in order to not be seen, uh, you're very situationally aware of the room, and so you you duck back into cover right before you get seen as someone's walking around the room. Uh, but you are able to kind of process what's going on in there. You see, uh, you know, the general interior of a ship where there's cans like lined up for the different portholes, <clears throat> and you see some a table with a bunch of belonging and stuff. Uh, it looks like a very crude kind of armory. It has swords and um, weapons for the, the pirate, you know, the pirates to pick up and use if uh, there's a call to arms. And there's, a, there's some various odds and ends and things that glitter uh, in the table in the center of that room. Uh, and you see several crewmen kind of passing around or walking around, maintaining the ship, getting things in order, you know, just doing their their duties on the uh, on the ship all right um okay uh i'm going to move my way up to the uh to the deck of the ship and peer uh over the uh the deck and see if uh the coast is clear on that one okay uh, just do a quick perception. Uh, your stealth check before, it's just no one's a, a wiser. We'll still work here. Go ahead, just roll perception again, though. So, uh, you do see another crew person um, at the helm. Uh, it's at this distance, it's kind of in the in the speed of the glance to not get detected. It's kind of hard to make out who exactly it is, but it doesn't seem to be the brother or the sister that you had seen before. Um, well, you're not, I don't think you know their brother's sister, but the him. man or female. Uh, oh, you haven't seen him at all? I thought you, well, I thought you saw him when he called out to you. So, my oh, apologies, but when he first approached your ship and he called out to your ship and was I trying was to talk. I was a dick. Oh, that's right. Then you don't know who I'm talking about, but. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know my party made the first move. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so. You do see men, again, tending the ship. They're doing all the stuff. They're you're messing with the lines. They're messing with the sails. They're, they're just doing what they ought to do to man and crew a ship of this size. Um, but it does seem like yeah, now that it's later in the evening, like it's around the kind of like twilight hours or like we're in the early a.m.s, um, it's not as bustling. Um, but, yeah, there's still a few men. Um, but they're, they come and go, not as near as... Uh, Crowd as you would think. All right. Um, it's not really a whole lot of places to hide it. Um, I 
I need to do something before the spider climb wears off. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to try to. Is there anyone behind the person uh, piloting the uh, ship? Uh, no, not right now. All right. I'm going to go uh, uh, approach from behind the ship onto the deck. Okay. Uh, are you trying to retain stealth as you climb onto the deck, or what are you trying to do? Yeah. Okay, yeah. go ahead and roll stealth. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> she she's gonna turn around and be like, "Who are you?" <laughs> Skyboard oh, like. That pop. This guy was like, like in that crouch position, like he's a crouch walking, and he like completely stops still, and slowly looking at her. Uh, She's gonna mop. bark out to one, and they're like, "We missed one. Get over here, quick!" I'm the mop boy. <laughs> the mop boy. We, don't, we already have a mop boy. What's your name? I am called Skybor. And you can't have too many mop boys. Uh, make a deception check if you're trying to convince her that you're her a, mop, a deckhand. What? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, let me roll. Oh, boy. Say, is that deception? He has been a mop boy. <laughs> he has been a mop boy. <laughs> but I'm not their mop boy. That's <laughs> true. I'll give you advantage on the real world. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gee, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I'm actually trying to pull up the character she I did not expect to do that. So, where is your at? Where we go? Uh, insight is intelligence or wisdom? Wisdom. 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 Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she goes... You might know how to use a, a mop, but you definitely don't um, work for us. I didn't say I did. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, uh, go ahead and lock them up with the rest of them. Um, so a guy approaches you with manacles, Skyboard. Do you accept do or not, do you accept? I, I I practically just turn around, put my hands behind my back, and <laughs> oh. I ain't fighting this. I'm outnumbered. Uh, she goes, at least you're wiser than your friends. And uh, the the other guy comes and starts escorting you downstairs to the brig, where you see, <laughs> well, technically you see seven familiar faces, uh, or seven, is that six? One, two, three, four, five. Six. Six, six. So, with the captain, yeah, with the captain and Tanir, seven, right? No, six. You're right. So, six for you. Okay. And he starts to mess with the keys to unlock it. He opens the gate, shoves you in, and uh, locks the door. Like, I can't see any more of you out of your out of your cell. There will not be a new cell for you. And he slams the door and locks it and walks away back to the other room. Hey guys, I'm here to bust you out. Really? <laughs> Good plan. What's your plan to get captured? Because it's so good job. Oh, I'm A not for effort. I am not, not captured. No. What are you? I'm a rat. I want to turn the wild shape into a rat. You're not wrong. <laughs> you're you you're changing wrong. shape? Yeah. Okay, so you turn into a rat. The manacles kind of fall on the ground and clap, like, clank a little bit. Um, you see this rat sitting there talking to you. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Um. We done fucked up. Yep. We just we fucked up. Cronus has keys. Oh. I mean. Well, then I just wasted it a. Never mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, we all need to sleep. Who knows what the hell their entertainment is in the morning? Entertainment. Yep. It's a joke. What? There is a show. Apparently. Apparently, we're the entertainment. Whatever that yeah. means. Oh, that can't be good. I didn't think it was either. No, well. I also haven't figured out if they're forgotten or not. It's kind of annoying. I mean, yeah. did we see if they had handprints? I wasn't exactly looking at their chest. I mean, I, I, I was while I was stabbing them. I can't reach that I... guy. <laughs> I mean, oh, I could always activate my special visions to see if I see magic, but um, I didn't have a chance. I'm going to scurry off onto the rest of the ship and try to collect intel. All right, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going <laughs> to sleep, too. Wake us up when you get back if you want. <laughs> Just make sure it's been at least an hour. <laughs> All right. So, okay. You guys are... Who's sleeping and who's staying up? I'm sleeping. I'm taking a rest to get some stuff back. <laughs> well, you already had the... You already had the... What? The hour or two hour short rest already. Oh. Right? Yeah. Yes. But I need a long one. <laughs> Yeah. Now the question is, do I want to waste a misty step to get out of these manacles? <laughs> no, right they'll just now. put you back in it in the morning. And then they so may do worse. The keys that I picked up, is it just one key, or is it like a key ring? It's a key ring, but there's only two keys on it. I would like to see if either key will fit phase manacles. Alright, well, um... Make a sign of hand check to see if you can get the key, like use the keys with your hands bound. Apparently, okay. yes, he can. Turn around and uh, kind of work back to back, and you're able to eventually get the key into the the slot. And you go to turn it, but it doesn't go. It doesn't move at all. So, that key's not for the manacles, then. That's horrible. Yeah. Mm. They'll probably come looking for that, uh, key. Uh, why would they assume we had it, as far as they know? We boarded their ship from Mars. I'm yeah. curious what it goes to, but... It's not worth checking it out, at least not now. Nope. Okay. Night night. Good night. All right, you guys are free to socialize. Uh, obviously, no game changing uh, uh, encounters with the NPCs. But if you guys want, uh, if you guys talk and you guys something else comes to light, definitely let me know. But Skywar is on a scouting mission, and I'm gonna take him to another channel. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, we done fucked up. We really did. Why do we gotta keep saying that all the time? It's clear we done fucked up. We always... This is the worst we've ever fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you're saying me buying slaves is not the worst thing ever? No, it's not. No. Just pointing that out. It's not the worst thing ever. No. We we definitely need to heed the words of my father and take a slow approach and see what they want and what we can do to appease them. Hey, Lana. Uh huh. Is it okay if I keep? I was just thinking that because you're the one that's streaming and yeah. 
you know, I will I'm take not off my headphones. Stuff. Oh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'll just ding if you want, or you can keep your headphones on. I, no, I'm I good. pretty much trust how you play, but it's all good. okay. Here's the thing, though. Once we head back to the main channel, you gotta be like, "Oh my god!" I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. Uh, okay, so Skywar, you are going to start scouting the uh, the ship a little bit. So yeah. the first thing you, um, do, you realize is that when you scurry out of the brig, you're into that like that main area. I won't really describe it since you heard me describe it to the other group, but you see cannons, you see a table for the long, um, you see men kind of walking back and forth, and uh, banter, it seems to die down, have died down a little bit as some men have retired for the evening to go get some rest, uh, what little rest they're allowed on the ship. Um, let me see here. Uh, okay. Um, what do you want to look for first? Or do you, who do you want to inspect someone? Look on the table? Uh, go to another room? Uh Let's just go ahead and let me know what you want to examine first and we'll roll perception right. or whatever you'd like to do. I'll check. listen to any conversation and uh, once the conversation uh, like kind of ends, I'll move on to uh, the next room. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Mickey. Uh, no, don't even have to, you're in the room. You're right next to them. There's no reason to make a check because you can't fail this. I mean, you're right next to them. <laughs> yeah, I got passive perception the- at 23. <laughs> I'm passing as fuck. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're uh, you're in the uh, the room and you start to hear uh, this is an older, more seasoned crewman. Um, he's not so big and burly as some of the guys that you uh, like the one you fought in the water uh, when you were a shark. Um, he's seen. He's been. He's seen quite a few years. He's kind of middle aged. Uh, just. You know, uh, rough and tough, and has been spending his whole life on the sea. And he's talking to a younger uh, deck hand, uh, maybe only a few years younger than you. And he is talking to him about uh, the current of uh, our things that are going on. He, uh, let me see here, he'll start talking to him like uh, the boy, and he says, uh, This world is going to shit. And, uh, if we, if it, depending on how the captains, uh, the pirate captains um, decide, we we may be going to hell with it all. Uh, uh, I know that some of them have already taken action in their own hands and uh, are responding to the monsters in the sea um, already. I, I I've been around for a while, kid, but I'm surprised that Madeir and Triton, which and, or, I'm sorry, Madeir and uh, Atlantis would turn on the turn us turn on us in the Sea of Triton. And uh, the boys ask us some questions about Espa and uh, Madeir, and he's like, "Yeah, we're like, we're we are we can not get near Madeir. Uh, you know, those royal waters are too um, hazardous to kind of venture into it. But you know, right now, then with them focused, uh, focused with the uh, other pirates out in the, the sea, it seems like this bay is the safest place for us to be pirating right now. And they." Uh, Talk a little more. He kind of, oh boy, asks more questions about Madeir, and he's like, "Have you ever seen it?" And he and he shares that he has seen it at least once before. And he he kind of ex- explained how it's very fancy seaside uh, kingdom and capital with um, hells and aquins and merfolk and mermaids and uh, high elves and um, just a very broad range of. Elven to Aquan races that kind of reside there um, in Madeir. And he just kind of goes on to describe the architecture and the city and its beauty. And it's, uh, that's that's what you hear in that in that room. And the place is called Madeir? Yeah, so the king of the country is Espa. You're heading to the capital of Madeir. Does that make sense? Madeir. Yep, Madeir. M-A-D-I-R. All right. Uh, all right. I'm going to scurry on some more and see if uh, I can find uh, any more intel. Okay. Uh, so you just scurry on. Um, you go down below and you see you do find that is the sleeping quarters. Uh, there are quite a few uh, men. I would almost say half the crew is uh, asleep. Um, so that kind of tells you that, you know, 
there's still quite a few that are awake and uh, you know doing work elsewhere on the ship. Uh, you also can uh, make your way back up to the surface, the top deck. Uh, what would you like to do here? There's the captain's quarter still you can explore. There's, uh, you know, you can go back to the helm and check things out. Uh, uh, you can expect the crew quarters a little bit more. What would you like to do? Um, you can do anything. I'm just giving I'm you ideas. I'm currently in the crew quarters. Uh, if you want to say the crew, I did say crew quarters, and you went back to the top deck, but it did. I give you the opportunity to do anything in the crew yeah. quarters. So let's 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 go back. So yeah, you can be in the you're in the crew quarters, and like I said, you do notice that half the it seems like half the beds are filled. All right, uh, I'm just gonna do a quick uh, walk by, see if there's any uh, items, any uh, weapons, anything that could uh, that may belong to our uh, party. Uh, let me pull up my um, I mean, are you going to check each person or just see if there's anything obvious? Something obvious. I don't, okay. I don't think they're going to hide it. Yeah, uh, I'm just wondering if they would have, not necessarily hide it, but they would like have it in like a locker or a bag of their own kind of thing. So I'm just trying to think what's obvious without checking through their actual belongings. Um, you will notice that one of them has a shield lying next to them. That looks very familiar to you. Um, like it used to belong. You've seen Faye use it every once in a while. Um, you also go ahead and do an investigation. Actually, let's see how much you do find. Just even though you're just obvious, you're just looking. All right, investigation. Well, that would be more perception. Still, no. Go ahead with perception. Investigation would be if you're actually like looking through their bloggings or. Yeah. Right. So yeah. So you, again, just visually, you do see the shield next to the uh, oh, guy uh, next to his bed. As you kind of make your way through as well, uh, as a mouse, uh, you see one that has uh, a bottle or two uh, of potions um, next to their nightstand. And that's about all you see down here. All right. Question. Yes. If I were to drink that potion while in mouse form, would that restore, would that go over onto my uh, human form as well? Will it carry on over? Because I don't think there's a rule for that, because no one really does that. I don't think that's how it works, because you... I really don't know. Um, I, I would say no, because I don't think that's how the health points would roll over that way. The reason why I say it, it might is because when you take negative help or, to da or damage in the form, it does carry over to your main form. That's where I'm conflicted. Uh, so I would say no, as far as I understand the rules, but if you come back with any kind of, if you find something that says otherwise, please let me know and I'll, I'll make a note of that in the homebrew rules. Okay. All right, uh, I'll make a note of that and I'm going to head to the, uh, the deck. You uh, call through uh, you crawl around on the deck and you see some, you know, the same kind of thing that you saw not that long ago. Uh, a couple crewmen walk around, you know, running the lines, uh, some in the crow's nest, uh, just doing their main maintenance and crewing the ship as it, uh, and trying to help it navigate to where they're going. Um, again, you don't have to make a perception check for this piece because you're right there. They're not hiding their voice and they're talking pretty decent volume. Um, you hear the man say, do you know where we're heading? He goes, well, with that ship, we didn't get much from that ship except some um, some going out of the, the, the passenger's pockets. I don't know if Captain's going to take us back to Shipwreck Cove or if we're going to um, try to see if we can uh, find another ship or two out in the bay before we return back to port. And then he's kind of like, what do you think they're going to do with the prisoners? He goes, I hope they hang them. 
Uh, we lost a man or two, uh, far less than that they did, but we did. We lost a good, uh, a, a couple of good hands. Um, it'll definitely impact us in getting the ship back to the back to port. But I think with the, the remainder of the crew, we can we can handle this uh, without too much of a delay. Um, and they continue to kind of talk about the events of the day and like, who do you think they're going to hang first? And that's uh, the exchange that they're having right now. All right. With that, We're so evil. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about perspective, really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. I'm going to uh, the captain's quarters. All right. Um, this will be a little tricky. Uh, you're going to have to try to fit your way through. Uh, not super tricky, but just go ahead and do me just a general um, either acrobatics or dex check. All right, um, it's a tight fit. Uh, you definitely have to squeeze uh, as tight as possible, um, but you are able to kind of shift your, or I'm sorry, squeeze your way into the, um, underneath the door and into the, the captain's quarters. And here, you hear, uh, you hear this conversation uh, between Sienna and Victor. Uh, well, you don't know them yet, but the, this uh, lady and, I'm sorry, this lady and gentleman and you hear them talking to each other. Uh, you hear a lot more of what you've already heard in the intro to the, uh, <laughs> in the intro to the, uh, you know, stream tonight. Uh, but you do hear uh, a little bit more elaboration, um, but not too much more than what you already heard. Uh, you'll hear. Um, actually, you will hear something a little extra. You'll hear uh, her brother kind of talking like. I think they deserve uh, deserve uh, a good hanging for the men, but you know, I don't know. Uh, Blackbeard is um, recruiting to join the Forgotten with him, and I don't know if the pirate captains are going to you know resist a lot much longer. Yeah, but hopefully they will. I mean, it's a death sentence. There's no way we can win the war. No one can win the war on the sea against Atlantis and Madeira. If we if we take if we take the fight to them like um, with an all or nothing approach, you know they're going to lay waste to everyone that we know at Shipwreck's Cove, and that's basically what they're talking about back and forth right now, is uh, turning turning in you guys that uh, back turning you guys over to Blackbeard, or to uh, or or doing something else that they're trying to debate what to do with you all. All right, and Blackbeard join the Forgotten. You, yeah, you hear that Blackbeard has joined the Forgotten, um, and he's trying to convince the other pirate captains um, that make up the. They're try, he's trying to convince the rest of the pirate captains to sail under him and join the Forgotten as well um, to attack Madeir and uh, yeah, to attack Madeir. And the only reason. You, let me think. I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure. Let me think real quick before I tell you too little or too much. Um, yes. Okay. So in you're going to hear her brother kind of say something along the lines of, "He's already gotten, um, or he's uh, with the with Atlantis turning on us, and Madeira not controlling these sea creatures any longer. They they turn the ocean against us." Sending monsters to the, the, the dam and sink our, sh our crew and our ships. Um, there's not many safe places left left for us uh, if we let them continue, you know, acting the way they are. And Blackbeard is quickly swaying people to his side as the alternatives are starting to look meager. Um, and that's that's about yeah. And that's the last thing you hear him say to his All sister. Right. I am going to incite them. Okay. I want to know if they are all in on the whole Blackbeard joining the Forgotten, or if they're like just afraid of them and they're just complying because of that. No, I want to know if they could be potential allies. Okay. Twenty-five. They don't want to help Blackbeard. They don't want to join him because they know that it's, it, they know that 
it's a death wish, basically. They know that there's no way to win this war. Um, like this war at sea with Madeir and Atlantis at the same time. They also don't want to help you guys, though, because you guys attack them uh, and put you know. I don't know. That. I, I didn't know if. Oh, uh, that's true. Um, you know that they do not want to go. They don't want to go against Blackbeard. Uh, it is uh, out of fear, but they don't want to help Blackbeard either because they know that uh, you just tell them they don't want to help nor nor go against them. But they're not. They are somewhat fearful of Blackbeard. Does that answer what you're kind of looking for, or yeah, is there anything that you okay? Okay. All right. Uh, do I see any stuff in this room? Any uh, items I recognize? How long are you spending in this room? If you're going to spend some time to really kind of examine it, uh, go ahead and just do a perception check. Um, but if you're saying that's just a quick glance. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ten. So I'll just say still not a quick glance then. Um, there's nothing that jumps out at you as yours. But you do see that she has uh, a pretty grand chest with some gold and some uh, rubies uh, that almost like kind of lay on the table around it, like almost it couldn't fit into the uh, you know, this treasure chest of hers. Um, you see with that as well some other things that are flashy or could potentially be something that belongs to your group, but at that quick speed of checking and trying to like stay unseen because. You know, yeah. you're still a mouse, you're still a rodent. Um, that's all you're able to uh, see at this time. All right. I shall return to the others. Okay. What about you there? Let's see. Oh, that's true. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move us back up. Is that cool? Yeah, sure. Back up. Oh, never mind. Oh, God, it was a cracking all along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We're yeah, all you're going to die. My player's everywhere. My player had a baby cracking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good Did job, Skyblur. I do, I do like that idea, actually. <laughs> no. What exactly is a mini cracking? <laughs> What happened? I'm scared. <laughs> All the shit. Well, I'm sleeping. So you see this mouse uh, scurry back in, uh, and it's it's kind of more times it with the guy had just left the room, and he's like, "Was it there?" He's counting your guys again. He's like, "Were there six of you a minute ago?" Uh, what, it was five. He's like, "I need some more sleep," and he he turns around, leaves the room, and then Skywalk scurries in those mouse and. We enters your cell and Skyborn, and I'll, I mean, you all, what would you guys like to do or say? All right. So, mm -hmm. um, the they want to hang us. So there's that. Um, From what? <laughs> Sorry, that's not the point. Go on. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, the, uh, the man, I guess he's uh, the second in charge of the ship, is trying to uh, convince the woman, which I'm assuming is the captain, mm -hmm. to uh, turn us into uh, a, uh, a person named Blackbeard, who has allied, aligned himself with the Forgotten. They... Uh, I feel that they do not really wish to align themselves with him. They are afraid of him. And uh, I think by uh, turning us in, that would, you know, probably uh, be beneficial for them. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's a uh, place. And I don't remember what it was called. Uh, the city uh, shipwreck cove. That, yes, that. Thank you, God. 
<laughs> Sorry. Curse you, mysterious voice in our heads. <laughs> uh, but uh, the crew are uh, possibly thinking about staying in the uh, bay and continuing to look for more ships before returning there since they didn't get much from us. Hmm. Also, there's a lot of sleeping men down below. Yeah, we figured that much. We figured that. So okay, I, also saw, I also saw your shield. What? Uh... Did you see where any of our other weapons were? Uh... Not really. I saw some potions. Those are uh, probably ours. But that's about it. All that's uh, down below. The uh, <laughs> the captain's room, there is treasure. Gold and rubies and a chest. But Cronus, your keys may be for that. Hmm. On the one hand, that's actually better information than we than we had from the get go, mm -hmm. which was almost nothing. Maybe, yeah. maybe mm -hmm. we could play to that. They don't want also... to go to Blackbeard. They don't want to align with him. They want money. They want money. We have money. They, I'm let's, sure not, they want... let's not. Go straight to we have money. Mm -mm. You you I, had I, money. <laughs> we that had my money. Point. They, my point was if they're scared of Blackbeard, maybe they need new employers. I don't know. How rich is Espa? Uh, I have a sneaky su suspicion that they will not align themselves with us. We don't need them to align themselves with us. We need some mercs. Yep. Look, and passage. That's true. They've got a problem. We've got a problem. We can probably just solve it by working together. Probably we both not, don't want to go to the Forgotten, so we have a thing in common. Yeah. We're literally the forces against the Forgotten. <laughs> 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 uh, we... Yeah. We could. They're afraid of this black beard. Hmm. We could offer them. I don't know. Offer to. Maybe somehow. Take him out. I mean, he's. Well, I should probably uh, also mention that there's a. Black beard is like. Uh in control of, like, Atlantis or something. I I don't know what that is. So, uh, uh, I, I should clarify on that, uh, just because, uh, but... Uh, it's okay, Skyboard's not that smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, I can allow that. If you want to do that, that's fine. You let me know when you want me to clarify information. That... Atlantis. Atlantis. Have I ever read about Atlantis? <laughs> Have I ever uh, read about it? Uh, you both can make history checks. Um, do you want me to clarify that piece, Skyward, or not? No, it's fine. Okay. Uh, be <laughs> so you've read it out, Atlantis. Neither of you have visited, it, obviously. Um, but you guys have heard of Atlantis, and um, it's the underwater kingdom uh, that is home to several Aquan, and it is uh, ruled by the king, um, King Triton. Right, and so um, they they kind of hold dominion over all the creatures of the sea, uh, as well as they are tasked with defending um, the uh, the material plane from the the water plane. So we need to take out Blackbeard. Possibly, but so how do we convince them that we can do this for them? May I, mean, I we may almost I... kicked their butts with five of us with a few spell slots. Here's the thing: we barely uh, 
survived fighting these guys and these guys are afraid of this other person. There, just want to point that out there. There is no way at this Pardon. point that we can beat him. If they are afraid to talk to him, as Skyber said, like, I, for once, I'm listening to my father and saying, this will not work. My point. Know when to fight your battles. Yes. Fighting this was dumb. As we've all said, we fucked up. Yes. Because we were already spent from earlier. That, and there were literally five of us. Six if you count to near. Sorry, I keep forgetting about you. Well, we had no choice, right? They attacked. Exactly. But we didn't. We had no choice. And we chose My the other wrong point yes. was there were only six slash seven of us. We had the Why would only seven of us. us go after Blackbeard? So hold on. We had a whole crew I, I of mostly injured people. I just want to make sure what people have said in character so Sky Wars aware of information. But one of you said, yes, exactly. That we didn't have a choice. The other one said, someone then said, well, we did have a choice. Was that in character? I just want oh, to yes. Sky Wars character. Okay, so Sky Wars, you did hear that. But then you could go ahead yeah. and finish your thought. <laughs> yeah, so if we do go after Blackbeard, I'm not saying only seven of us go. Because obviously we need to get Atlantis under control to probably deal with the sea monsters we already came here to deal with anyway. So, you know, get Espa back, start doing all that Merlin stuff, save the world, defeat the Forgotten. That, that is what we need to do. And you're thinking... Sounds like we'll have to make a trip to Atlantis. So you're thinking that Atlantis is causing the problems with the sea monsters? I think they have opened the door because Blackbeard has them. And it's a lot easier to take over ships when they're mostly injured like ours was. And if you're all about being a I pirate... I really feel like, like I should clarify this information because I feel like it's spiraling out of control. Please. <laughs> no, no, no. Let it happen, man. Let it happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Am I... <That's> a... <laughs> I'm confused about what Blackbeard has in part of this. Mm. Is Blackbeard in charge of Atlantis right now? Didn't he have Atlantis? Isn't that what you just said, Skyboard? I believe... I believe so. They used a lot of fancy words. Could you repeat Could those you repeat fancy? them? They said a lot of fancy words. <laughs> did you memorize the fancy words or did you just kind of glaze over? I may have heard some white noise. Cool. Well, <laughs> my intelligence is seven. Back off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? Maybe we clarify this with them tomorrow. If he's in charge of Atlantis, that's a, it could solve both our problems, so why don't we just work together and try and take Blackbeard out? If he's not, mm -hmm. we need to come up with another plan in case he's not in charge of Atlantis and he's just some big bad dude that wants us to go the Forgotten. I think at that point it'd be a, you didn't catch us, let us escape. Bye. I don't see that happening. I don't either, but it's worth a try, right? Last resort, Plus that's yes. a backup plan. Yeah. What's the name of the captain of the ship we were supposed to protect? Uh, that dude? Him? <laughs> The one with the gun? Or had a gun? Uh, the one that's in the that? cell with us. Yep. I don't test, know. Test, test, test. Hello. Yes. There you sorry. are. Yeah, Hello. Yeah, sorry. Uh, the, his name is, is John. John Barona. Uh, yeah, he's right next to you. All right. All right uh, Skyboy will uh, 
still a, still a rat. Uh, he's going to sit next to, uh, to uh, Captain John. And he'd be like, uh, I am sorry about your ship, your crew, and your uh, trading goods. We, uh, we tried our best, and it apparently was not enough. I, uh, I hope uh, this doesn't uh, change your uh, opinion about us. He, his otherwise cold stare kind of softens at your words, but he doesn't speak back to you. Sean, do you know about this Blackbeard? Uh, uh, Captain Blackbeard? Yes. Probably. Yes. Every every uh, seaman that's worth his uh, salt uh, has heard of Captain Blackbeard. Okay. Maybe you could clarify something for us um is he like did he take over atlantis um sorry i was just thinking i probably should have spoke to you <laughs> sky war talking but i didn't say anything back to sky war that's why i was like oh shit i goofed up um well, since I've already done duped up, uh, he will say, I know nothing about this. Blackbeard taking over Atlantis. No, I've not heard news of this. Um, I know that he's been, uh, you know, he's one of the most vicious uh, pirates there are. If you cross a sail, he doesn't care about taking on crewmen ever. At least that's what I hear. Um, and the, he, Finally, it's adjusted to the you know the group. He looks back at you, Sourly. Thank you for apologizing for Edmund's death, but I would not say it was the best you all could have done. But I appreciate your condolences. And then he darts daggers back across of at Cronus and says, "As long as it wasn't part of the plan." And then he looks back at you, Skyboard, kind of for an answer to the. To almost like a statement, it's a question to you. Would I get that? Mm, he's not kind of, he's not trying to deceive you. Uh, you would pick up on the fact that he's like, What do you or? You would take away from that saying probably like, were my were my men nothing to you, or was this, uh, t- or just mere distractions, or or was it just ser- uh, really a, a series of unfortunate events? Okay. Uh, our goal was to protect you and your ship, and everything on it. I. Why, why would you suggest that that we just throw everything away? What? I just feel like there were rash decisions being made. I cannot, I was not, I'm not sure exactly what was the trigger of the fight, but all I know is that we were in no situation to pick a fight, and I don't know why we why we uh, did not look for any other options for, you know, our lives, basically. Uh, I'm going to speak up and be like, you know they were planning on attacking you the entire time. Because I course, overheard the pirates, that conversation. What, that's what they do. On like their ship. He, he uh, kind of shouts back, he's like, that's what pirates do. They steal from the ships and they either kill the crew recruit the crew, most likely my men would have been uh, recruited, you know, had to work the deck for a couple months, maybe a year before they got to see shore again, and it would have been only me that died. 
they would have killed me as they normally do and taken over my crew. Maybe they would have killed them too, but maybe they wouldn't have killed every one of us. Skyboard will look over to the rest of the party. What happened? I'm going to glance at Anika. The word slavery was mentioned. In case you haven't noticed, not okay with being a slave. Although apparently, sailors are. I'm against slavery gear. I'm not against, you know, working to save my life till I have the chance at freedom again. Did you try to talk out of the whole slavery? We were brash. I didn't quite have that option. What we options were, did you have? Uh, we were impulsive. At this point, Sky will uh, revert back to his human form. Do you put the manacles back on? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. he doesn't. But he, uh, he'll say, uh, "How much effort did you actually put into negotiating with these men?" Not enough, obviously. About 20%. I do not know what that means. Not enough. <laughs> All right, if you have 10 cookies, Skyboard. <laughs> cookies. <laughs> <laughs> what is this cookies you speak of? <laughs> You've had cookies. We'll get you some cookies, Skyboard. <clears throat> Unfortunately, um, not enough. We were very so, rash. So what you're saying is you try talking to them, but the first moment they mention slave, you just abandon diplomacy and just attack first? Pretty much. Pretty much. Unfortunately, we did. So I killed a man who was just defending himself. Yes. Uh, yes, you were. Yes, you did. Yes. Yes, you did. So did all of us. You know, I left my uh, my tribe to uh, do my uh, spiritual journey, figure out what I am meant to do. And of all the failures I have done, I was hoping that maybe I would succeed at this. But then I came across you guys and this quest, finding keys. I am not su I want to succeed at something that I was set out to do. And finding keys was not part of it. And I put aside my wants, my goals, for the greater good. The first mention of slave and you just abandon this quest that's bigger than each of us. Because you disagree with other people's ideology. Yes, slavery is wrong. But so is letting this 
evil force take over this world. And you're willing to gamble that because you disagree. I disagree with a lot of things in this world. But yet, I don't attack everyone I meet. I I learned that the world does not revolve around you. You have to learn to accept things, even if it's against your beliefs, because it's not your home, it's theirs. And even if you were to try to fight them, you will not win because it's you versus the entire world. You can try, but you ain't going to put a dent in it. Skybor strips off all of his clothes, standing naked in front of all of you. And, uh, he spins around and shows his body, and there's like, there's a few scars, but other than that, there's not really anything special. It's just a blank canvas. This isn't normal. There are children who have marks on them of accomplishments that they have achieved in my tribe. I have not accomplished anything there is so much failure in my life you know how bad it is when your own father just gives up on you and thinks that you're never going to achieve anything the entire tribe just looks at me and thinks that this is my peak I will always be no one. I thought that maybe I could become someone. I thought I could find out what I was set out to do and what I'm good at. But all I've achieved is taking hits. Falling down. You can say that. That my purpose is to help you. To save the world. But then what? What's left after that? I have no purpose. But I put that aside. So that I can do this. So I can help you. But what happened? You got selfish. You could have done so many other things, but instead you chose to fight. You struck first. If if I wanted to be a failure, I would have stayed home. But now, now I have a a dead man on my conscience, and he didn't have to die. Then he looks over to the captain. His men did not have to die. His ship didn't have to sink. His cargo didn't have to be lost. Now he has to go to their families and explain to them why they're never going to see their husbands ever again. Because you disagree with someone else's ideology. There's always going to be someone who believes something that you don't. 
just as you will believe things that they don't believe in. I don't believe in currency. If anything, that's that's barbaric. Gold will will cause people to murder each other or stab each other in the back trying to work their way up on some business. People betray each other for gold. But here I am carrying gold because that's the way this land works. Why can't any of you try to do what other places say that how this goes. He turns to the captain. I am sorry. If I could do it all over again, I would do anything in my power to stop them from making such a horrible choice. I know my apology will not bring your men back, your ship or your cargo, but it's the least I can do. Skybor put back his clothes, sits down, and just have his head slumped over. Captain is moved by your speech and he looks like he's trying to collect himself after you uh your speech skywar and he goes it was an awful it was an awful situation i will say i do i do truly feel your sincerity and and as much as i don't agree uh with the what happened i will not make light of the situation that we were all put in a very difficult situation um, that is that didn't have really any positive outcomes for us. I, I will give you that. I, I do appreciate. But there your are help. better outcomes. Of, of course, I'm. I'm not disputing. I'm just. Yeah, I do appreciate your apology. It, it doesn't mean much to me. I. Uh, I. I hope to pay my condolences if I make it out of here alive to the, their families as well. Perhaps. Perhaps uh, if we get out of here alive together, uh, you may help me with that task or that burden. He Just looks at the party. Maybe. To the air, sitting over the corner, crying, um, and yeah, does anybody want to say anything? Skybor, you may not think that you have any have accomplished anything or have done any great task, but you have no idea what you mean to this party. You've saved us on more than one occasion. You... You're a great human being. And I take pride knowing, just knowing you. And I'm sorry, both you and the captain, that we did not take a few more minutes to talk with them. It's, it's hard to talk diplomacy when you haven't been raised that way. And maybe that's what you're here for. Part of the reason to teach us how to learn patience instead of running into everything. I I should have thought things through. 
I'm supposed to be the heir of my family. I was taught diplomacy. I should have. I should have waited to see what they had to say before acting. You're not wrong. Well, that doesn't change what mistakes we've made. We just need to get out of here without making different ones. But you are wrong about what you are, what you mean, what accomplishments you've had. And your family's even more wrong. You just have to prove it. We can help you if you let us. Right now, getting these keys are more important. I am going to put my personal needs aside for the world. Question is, what will you all do? Same thing I came to Dahlenberg for. Find the keys. Now that the, the king and queen are safe from the original mission that I was put out on, I guess the next thing is the keys and just the keys alone. At that point, uh, you'll hear a familiar voice come from behind. And um, out of the kind of the, the shadow of the doorway enters uh, the man that you guys met. On the board, you know, as Victor, uh, that you guys originally thought was the captain. Uh, he's kind of rubbing his hands together. And he looks across all of you. He goes, so moving. And he pauses for another few moments because the captain wishes to speak to the one bearing the symbol of Merlin. And Which one? Looking directly at Lorna. He doesn't know you're bearing it, Lorna. Okay. I see. So. He uh, gestures over to the uh, other men to come unlock the cell. And he, uh, you know, lets you step out. Does anyone say or do anything? With, or do you step out, Laura, when the cell opens up? I, I look back at the party. I nod and I walk out. Okay. Um... So he'll close the door behind and lock the cell back up. Um, at, as he pulls the key out uh, from the lock, Cronus, uh, make me a quick perception check. Okay, uh, you're not sure. You just caught, you catch at a quick glance. Um, the metal of the key looks very familiar to a set that you have, but you can't make out. Um, the you know shape as well to see if it like it's the same the same form. It's not gonna be like a traditional house key where it's the same thing, but if it, it, it kind of matches the same structure, but you only kind of catch the, the glimpse of the metal material. Um, and then Laura Victor uh, turns around and starts walking away and kind of motions you to follow him. Uh, the the other pirate that was there helping him open and close the gate, so kind of. Follows behind, um, and the uh, three of you are moving through the ship. Unless you want to say or do anything as you guys are moving, please stop me whenever you would like. Um, 
I will look around just to kind of get a lay of the ship and possibly where our weapons may be just on the way. Okay. All right. Um, go ahead and do a perception check. We'll see how much you uh, <laughs> uh, observe on the way. Okay. Nothing. Um, with that, I can't give you extreme details. Uh, you do get a lay of the land still. Obviously, you have eyeballs and you're walking through it. <laughs> Um, you're walking through uh, the main room where you know, the cannons and gunpowder um, is kind of stored, but there's a large table in the center that has um, some weapons and arms that the men can grab real quick when, they, when there's a call to arms. And um, in the center of this table, you do see bags and piles of other stuff that doesn't match the rest of the equipment. So at this quick glimpse, you, you do realize that it is your guys' belongings on the table. You do not know what is still there, what's not there, though. Um, you do make it to the next deck, and he leads you to the captain's quarters, which he uh, uh, maps twice, and then after a, a brief pause, he opens the door and um, uh, introduces you to the captain's quarter. Uh, again, it's very posh, thing, very luxurious. Uh, uh, prior to quarters, there's fine fabrics and um, c- cushions and other things that are... Uh, decorate the room, but uh, the only other thing that would uh, no, no, uh, not with that perception check, sorry, but besides that, you just realize that it's very uh, cushioned and luxurious uh, room. Um, you are then invited to uh, just sit at a chair, uh, but you do not see the female captain at this point. Okay. Um, do you take a seat or? I'll stand. After uh, uh, Victor holds the seat out for you for a moment or two and you choose to stand, he uh, walks over to you and pulls uh, another a smaller uh, key out of his uh, pocket. And he unlocks your manacles on your wrists. And um, he says, the captain will be here very soon. She wanted to be to see how your group reacted if uh, given the chance to uh, attack me on my, would you, I guess, lonesome uh, coming to get you. Uh, surprisingly, they, they weren't stupid enough to try. Um, but she, uh, she'll be right here very soon with us. Um, make yourself comfortable. And he kind of turns around and walks over to another table where he, you know, pulls the bottle of liquor out, starts pouring him a drink, and a few minutes pass by, and he, you know, pours himself another drink, and then motions to you, uh, Lorna, to see if you would like one. I will not take one. Okay. Can you still hear me okay? Yep. Sorry. Um, okay. And after just a few drinks and a couple minutes pass by, uh, you do see that the captain uh, re-enters the room. Um, she doesn't look disheveled like she was, uh, you know, after your battle. She's kind of well groomed and maintained. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, at this time, her brother will speak and say, "They made a very moving speech when I came to go get uh, get our prize, sister." The they're all very sorry that they, they hurt our feelings. We, we uh, they really didn't mean it. <laughs> um, and he kind of laughs afterwards. Uh, and she responds saying, oh, really? I liked your, I liked the gumption in you, girl. That's what made you very entertaining to see you all fall. She's just staring at the captain. Um, she, uh, she, uh, will talk to her, like, well, she'll rejoin her, her friends very soon. And then at this point, I'm going to go ahead and move you guys to, or move you to another channel, Lauren, okay? Okay. Yep, thanks for that. Uh, I was trying to, like, I was, the reason I didn't move you over earlier, I was kind of debating, like, would they 
bring all six of them up, and I'm like, no, that's still pretty. That would be a pretty stupid strategy to bring all of them up. I'm like, hey. <laughs> um, okay. So, sorry, back to where we're we at. So, she looks at you, and she goes, so, are you who they say you are? Are you one of the people that have been collecting these? Um, are working for these the royal families and collecting these things that the forgotten are looking for? I am. Hmm. You know, there's a man that'll pay us a very, very uh, pretty penny for a uh, for a prize like you and your friends. We wouldn't have to rob another ship probably for the rest of our lives. We could just retire at an early age and eat plenty, and do what we wish. But what fun will that bring you? Oh, we were still pirate for fun. We just wouldn't have to do it for, you know, necessity. <laughs> that is true. You could do that. Your group. Help me understand this. You, you're not crewmen or deckhands. You, I can tell some of you have seen it done on the ship a little bit in your days, but nothing to, uh, you know, be a master at sea. Why would you, you really enter the dangerous waters, though, after they told you, without, without any abilities or skills out of here? But are you, do you, are you guys mad or... Do you just not care? I mean, we're all a little bit crazy, but we... You know, we like crazy. That's why you're still alive. That's good. But we... We were headed to Espa, to the Kingdom of Madeir, to try and help them open up their trade routes again, get rid of the sea monsters, try... Try to help them. Whether we get a key there or not, we need to open trade routes because Dahlenberg, they're struggling. And if we can open up the trade routes, get to Yasmid, get some people back over here to help. That's all we're trying to do. Why do you need to get to Madeir? Madeir, they're the one that control the merfolk and the uh, the sea creatures. It's obvious that they turn their backs against our, uh, uh, they, you know, turn their backs against. I'm sorry. It's obvious that they are uh, are coming against us and attacking us uh, and trying to eradicate us completely from the uh, the waters. Uh, it it seems like Madeir has forgotten how much we helped them. You know. In, um, years and years ago with the evil empress. Me and my brother know our history. We know what uh, the pirate captains did for Badir, and now they turn their back and are attacking us outright. Why would we take you to Badir? Because I just need one clarification. Madeir? Sure, sure. Madeir is in control of the sea creatures? So, uh, Madeir is the capital of Espa. Yeah. So, uh, that's where the king and queen reside. Yeah. Uh, the, and he's, uh, that's, thank you. Um, I should clarify it. So, their rulership, their, I'm trying to, I'm trying to clarify without giving away something that hasn't come up yet. Uh -huh. Uh, so, yes, Madeir uh, rules over in, uh, Madeir rules over the people of Espa, and there's a relationship there with the Kingdom of Atlantis, and they rule over the merfolk, and um, basically the, everyone that lives more in the sea versus um, near the bay and the coast of in Madeir. Um, uh, Atlantis, or Atlantis in King Triton, you guys have already learned about him. They technically control all the sea creatures, 
but because of the relationship between Atlantis and actually your character already knows these knows the one the rulers at uh Aspa, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. I don't let me double check. I, it helps it would be awesome if I want to be so uh vague about this. <laughs> okay. You are I think let me see. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't know them yet. Um, but Madir uh, rules over the Aquans and those of the sentient beings, but uh, Atlantis has control over all of the sea creatures. Okay. Is that good? Okay. Is that, yeah. Is that yeah. Okay. Um, so that means that Atlantis... Uh, no, I'm saying this in character. So you're saying... Okay. Espa Madeir doesn't like pirates, and Triton is attacking Madeir with the sea creatures? No. The, uh, Atlantis is attacking, is attacking all ships of the open sea, and he's coming for all his pirates. Um, and it's because of his damn bitch of a daughter commanding him to do so. Uh, Madeir has turned her back on us. Oh. Hmm. This is only a logical explanation. They're the only one that have command over these uh these damn Sahagan and other you know, nasties. Yes and no. We've encountered Sahagan that are with the Forgotten, or what we presume to be the Forgotten. Really? Out of character, I'm pretty sure, yes. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. In character. Yes, when we were down in Menzo, we had to cross a lake, and that's where they were? You went sailing under the under the ground. I assure you, it's my first experience with a boat. And yes, that is where we sailed. With no air and shit and darkness. I assure you, you need to do it sometime. But now it probably is not the time, nor the place. But what if we could work together on this? But Blackbeard works for the Forgotten. Well... How... Why would the Sahagan be attacking... Why would the Unless she starts to ponder and think to herself. Maybe she... It's unless they're not attacking Blackbeard and his crew. They're probably Perhaps not. They're... So... So that would mean that... That she's that taken over Blackbeard? That would not commanding them. I don't... I don't... But perhaps Madeir has fallen. And that's why they have uh, turned uh, against us. Exactly. Maybe this, maybe with that information, Matea have fallen. I don't know what the captain, what the pirate captains will decide. Either to join Blackbeard as the one as Matea has fallen, or if that will rally, rally them to take a stand against Blackbeard and his men. It's hard to say, uh, but uh, you need to gather forces. We we have brought Menzo, the dark underdwelling people who hate humans and the upper plane and all this. We have brought them together with Dahlenberg. 
we need to join forces to beat this, to beat the forgotten. And if you and all of your other captains rally together, you could beat Blackbeard. But then who controls his creatures? With no captain in Blackbeard no longer leading them, you surely the, the monsters will have nothing, to, no order to follow. Then we'll find out who's actually commanding them, because it may not be Blackbeard. But if that's the case, then if there's no commander, they'll naturally go back to Trident, I would assume. Their rightful ruler, the true king of the sea. It's a bunch of ifs, thens, and buts, and me and you, I'm sorry, darling, are both ill-informed of the exact details of what's going on in the world. I Which is why we need to get to ESPA. Good. To figure out what's going on. To open up these trade routes. If we go and we take care of these sea creatures for you, it's going to be so much better for you. You'll be able to, like, Sail the seas without having all these sea creatures even attacking your boat. I don't wish to give Blackbeard what he seeks in further the cause of the forgotten, nor. So I feel like I owe you my help after you outright, you know, or didn't comply with our demands so rudely. Uh, perhaps what what's to say that I just kill you all and pretend I never saw you and hopefully Black Day never finds out. You can try, but we won't go down without a fight. Mm. What? I do like that about your group. What if? What? What if you let the rest go and kept me here with the key? You don't have to tell Blackbeard about me. And you let the others go. You all are very interesting. Take it away, Victor. Put her back with her friends. I will let you all know. I will let you know my thoughts in the morning. Sleep well. And uh, Victor will come over, and this time he'll actually just uh, not take your, uh, not put you back in manacles, and just uh, kind of uh, lead you out of the room if you just uh, would follow, or I don't you want to say or do anything. You're you're still welcome to interrupt at any time. No, I'll just walk begrudgingly for now. Begrudgingly? <laughs> yes. Uh, will I roll to walk begrudgingly? <laughs> yeah. Um, Okay, so you're gonna make your way down the ship to go. Uh, yeah. And, uh, Victor, uh, as you get kind of closer and you're walking past your gear again, feel free to make another perception check if you want. Please. Eh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you guys do notice, uh, you notice a lot of your packs and everything seems to be there. Uh, you see your weapons, you know, uh, kind of all sorted out. Uh, they've kind of like, oh, almost like bundled them together. Like your stuff's all kind of bundled together, uh, and mm. Faye's stuff is all kind of bundled together. They're, but they all kind of piled on top of each other on this table. Okay. Uh, it definitely looks picked through. It doesn't look like everything's there, but with that perception, you're not, again, you're not 100% sure what you, what is or isn't there, but okay. it doesn't seem to be as full as you remember it feeling can, when you carried it around. Can I at least see my huge-ass sword? 
Yes. Okay. It's that's like all your weapons seem like they're there. Okay. Uh, at the glance, I can't, you can't, I can't confirm it right now, but yep. it looks okay. like the weapons in your packs are bundled together at cool. this time. Cool. But definitely rough pick through a little. Yeah, of course. Okay. okay. Um, and then, oh, go ahead. No, that's. She'll just nod and follow along. Could she? No, she's not going to risk it. Okay. <laughs> Well, would you like to ask or no. try? Or no. okay, as you guys get closer to the break, you guys are almost there. He goes, "Your friends and you are quite odd." I think my sister finds that amusing. I just don't know if amusing is funny enough to stay alive, or if it's more amusing to see the end of the show. And oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I look forward to seeing her answer in the morning. How about uh, you, you know, prepare for the worst and hope for the best? I guess that's what we'll do, sir. <laughs> he takes you back um, into the room where all the familiar faces are, and he walks you um, up to the gate, opens the gate, uh, let you back into the cell, and I'll move it back over at this exchange. Do I? If, if that's good, or... Did he put the manacles back on? He did not. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, he's going to put you back in the cell. Let me switch over in case they want to do anything when they open the cell. Yeah. Mm, no wool backgrounds come with little bags of sand. What? So you can start oh. working on your jar of dirt. <laughs> Yeah, I have a little bag of sand in my inventory. I don't know why. Just why urchin sand. backgrounds have a pet mouse. That's awesome, though. <laughs> so, you guys see Lorna being escorted back in with Victor without her manacles on, and he opens the gate, and uh, oh, well, you know, oh, waves his hand gestures for her to re-enter the cell, and unless they also say or do anything, he closes the cell, and he locks the door again. And he says to you all, he goes, sleep well. We shall see you bright and early. I want to insight that. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. What are you inciting into? Is it, I'll see you in the morning in a good way or in a bad way? <laughs> Um, to be truthful, and Lorna can vouch for me, he doesn't know yet. No. So, so he can't say, he, he does mean, he is being truthful, this is that he does expect to see you in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Lorna, did you break the manacles? Yeah, I totally did. Right, why'd they let you out of them? I'm gonna yeah. try to break mine after hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how this goes first. We can't hear you if you're talking silent. I know, I'm looking for the DC. It's oh. half on it to a strike check, sorry. <laughs> so actually it has a DC on the item description. It's a strike check. Oh, come on. You successfully <laughs> break the manacles off your wrist. Okay, I think D&D &D, uh, poorly uh, made uh, the manacles too weak, in my yeah. opinion. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're going to have maybe future pirates with magical manacles. <laughs> you mean these pirates had shitty manacles? <laughs> Probably. I mean, well, what, are, they, are the next manacles going to be anti-magic? <laughs> yep. There you go. Uh, I mean, you just, if, if they keep having all their, their loot getting sank to the bottom of the water, they might not be able to afford nice manacles. <laughs> the manacles are for show. Yeah. <laughs> so, keep the honest Anika has this up. really tiny violin that's playing over the pirates' <laughs> sunken loot. Wait, what now? <laughs> that is very lovely, Anika. I don't know, isn't it? 
They're poor what loot. What are you doing? What? Being what sarcastic. <laughs> okay. Um. Well. Okay, so sorry, I, I feel like I got off on a tangent. No. But yes, Carlos, you did you did break free of your manacles at this time. Right. He's gonna look at Lauren and be like, "That was actually kind of easy." Yeah. And then, like, offer a high five. I didn't actually break out of my manacles. No shit. Yeah. Uh, I figured that. She. Well, hey. what happened? Well, are we gonna die? Maybe. Um. So. Maybe is better than absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so I got talking with the captain. Um. She doesn't know whether or not we should be taken to Blackbeard or should just be killed and they didn't even hear of us or whether to bring us to Espa. She she thinks that Blackbeard is controlling the sea creatures and mm -hmm. Madeir was supposed to actually protect all boats see sailing kind of things and has turned their back on them and yeah so we're trying to figure out okay who's in control of the sea creatures who do we need to go and talk to and figure out what's going on because if Blackbeard is with the Forgotten and then we take out Blackbeard then the sea creatures may just go back to Trident, their natural born leader. Uh, it was a lot. And she's still trying to decide whether we should live or die. But yeah. Well, that's three more options than we thought we had. Yeah. Which was zero. I I tried my hardest to convince her to let us go to Espa to talk things out. See what's going on. Open up the trade routes. We'll see in the morning. She likes her oh, spunkiness, that... though. So, are those roles supposed to be perception or persuasion? A perception. I did not try and persuade her. I was just having a nice conversation. Oh, and uh, they 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 totally rifled through all of our stuff. But they're yeah. they're all packed together on a table. Did they try um writing on the uh, piece no of paper idea. I have? They're... They probably just thought it was gold. Yeah, it's, it's shiny. It feels like paper though. Yeah, but they're yeah. They almost stuck their bag in a bag of holding. Yeah, their head I in a bag of holding. I think they're in no rush to find out what items do what just yet. It's literally been a few hours since they've got us, so... Yeah, I remember they're all kind of asleep. Or running, walking by here and miscounting. Yeah. Anywho, we, we probably should get some sleep. It's mm -hmm. gonna be a busy day tomorrow, whether or not we live or die. So, you know. Uh, that is true. <sighs> so, is there anything else you all would like to do or say? Um, is there anything you have questions for me right now? Or I'll say that uh, Guybor cannot get a long rest. He's a. Uh, he still has. Uh, he's still uh, thinking about that guy he killed. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. So you will suffer one point of exhaustion then if you guys are prepared for a long rest, unless there's something else. So I know you guys have some other ideas and plans too. Well, me and Nika were having a lovely conversation about how. Odd it is I can summon a demon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's worry more about that after we find out if we get to live tomorrow or not. 
That is true. Because right now, I'm kind of full of dried blood and really need a nap. And by yeah. nap, I mean like an eight-hour nap. An eight-hour nap sounds so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, shit. I just realized something else I should have told her. Too late for that. <laughs> oh, hang First? on. What was it? We do still have to talk to her tomorrow. Uh, the fact that we can remove handprints now? How about we find out how many of them are forgotten? Yeah. Or we start offering something that really hurts you. Yeah. If it keeps you guys alive, I'll do it. I don't care. <clears throat> That's concerning. Well, if you're going to do it, I'll join you. <laughs> Let's not lead with those, please. Of course, those are last. Those are plan Z. Z? Literally one of the few strengths we have they don't know about. Yeah. I'm going to go to bed. Yep. Are we handcuffed you... behind our backs? Um. Yeah, I, that's I had sad already, but that's going to be uncomfortable sleeping. Uh, well, since I'm going to go to bed, I'm missing stepping out of these cuffs and lying on the ground. Hey, what? hey, take me with you. <laughs> I don't say that. Does that work? It is verbal. Well, no, no, no. My point is that you transport with everything on your equip that you're, that's on your that person. So, so you, your you, just, right there, okay. you took a step and your medicals are still there. Uh, uh, hold on. Cronus is going to stand up and like hold no. his hands out. All it says is briefly surrounded by silvery mist. Acid breath into my hands. So you're acid. suggesting that your your belongings do not go with you. Therefore, you're busy stepping and you'll be naked. <laughs> like, uh, you're... no, because uh, <laughs> technically, when you're grappled, you can misty step to get out of yeah, it. Yeah, but that's but you're the not person. grappled. You're, but you're not wearing your grappler. Yeah, you're wear, yeah, you're you're it's equipped. It's it's coming with you. You're it's wearing like bracelets an item on your person. Well, it'll be off the wall, <laughs> so so more comfortable. <laughs> Oh, I will say just handcuffed. <laughs> I will say you have the freedom to move your hands in front of you with the wheels shifting forward, but they are still very much so in manacles. Uh, Cronus is actually going to stick his hands out and acid breath into his hands to collect like a pool of it, and then try to pour it into the locks I, on everybody's manacles. I I would, I let him. would almost suggest not and just keep the trust of the captain. She likes her spunk, but you know anything we do to anger her is going to switch the scales. I mean, it's not like we're leaving the cell. We're just getting more more comfortable. Plus, you also got to consider it's not just us. And he looks over at the captain. Whatever we do will affect him as well. Of course. Um, I just get this. I have this picture in my head. Have you guys seen the movie Pets? Um, yes. yes. Uh, the scene where the cat's doing like the hairball on the and like, no, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> I feel like that's Carlos right now. Like he's got like this, like this acid slime coming out of his mouth. He's smiling. And you guys are like, no, 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 no. no. He's like, what do I do? It's already halfway out of my mouth. <laughs> oh. I'm just going to toss it like out of the cell up against the wall. Oh. I gotta find, I'm gonna find that gif and share it, I swear. That's, that's exactly what I thought So does that mean you're putting your manacles back on, Skybor? No. But I'm not going to do anything else. Right. So why right. do I have to keep them on? I'm not saying you should keep it on. I'm just saying, be careful. It's up to you. Fuck it, I don't actually have a way to get out of them anyway. 
Oh, he could make a strength check. I really want to see that. <laughs> Turns out Anika is so small, she could just slide right him out. I was like, yeah. actually, are they child-sized handcuffs? Are they? Really? <laughs> They're not. They're not child sized. <laughs> You've been wearing them brilliantly this whole time, and you realize oh, your hands are sliding. <laughs> I'm just literally gonna try and slide my hand out. Does it come out? It's like who's yeah. afraid of the rabbit? It's how you do this. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna toss him on the ground. Like, seriously, you all let me do that? And go to sleep. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't realize that sooner. We're all... I forget how small I am. <laughs> We're all tired. Cronus can, Cronus, can you just break these so I can get comfy? <laughs> and the captains. Uh, yeah, I guess I will try to break phase. And to Nears. <clears throat> okay. uh, to me, the captain will say, uh, I'll just keep them off. I don't want to cause any trouble. I'm still not sure sure that's a great idea. Uh, Go ahead. Literally just going to tell him I fell asleep and they came off. Uh, you're not able to break uh, you're not able to break uh, phase. You think it's a uh, it's, it just feels like it's maybe stronger iron. Um, it, not as rusty. Not as rusty as your pair was. I'm holding back. I don't want to hurt her. I don't want to hurt her arms trying to twist them. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I can summon a demon. <laughs> All right. So, are you? What is everyone doing? Is everyone going to sleep now, or did you guys want to do anything else? Uh, I'm actually going to pull the keys out and ask okay. if we should see if it uh just unlocks the door. Just the no. Um, like I'm thinking we can just unlock it. And then lock it back, and then just stash the key away, just so if things go south, at least we know we can get out of here with ease. I'm just gonna look up. Do we have someone looking at us? Uh, no, it's getting really late, so the the guys coming to check on you has kind of gone down quite considerably. There's probably um every maybe twenty to thirty minutes after versus every few minutes as it was before. All right, um, go ahead. We got time. All right. Um, actually, let me say something real quick. Um, I want to use a key point or two key points and cast silence and then just unlock it and then open the gate up and see if it opens then shut it and lock it back okay. so that way it doesn't make any noise and then as soon as I if it, if it unlocks and it locks back then I'm going to drop silence right away okay uh, so you, you cast silence um, you can't hear anything, um, and neither can anyone else near you. Uh, you reach your hands to the bars with the key, and you turn the key real quick. It does get uh, unlatch, and the gate uh, the gate actually kind of opens up almost immediately, just a little bit, just to, but now the latch is free. Um, and you close it back up and lock it again and spell the silent spell here in your cell with everything. All right, so these keys will unlock the cell. And then I'm going to stash the keys away. Okay. All right. Um... So now we're uh, so Lourdes falling asleep, Adinka's falling asleep, Skywar, Faye, what are you guys doing? Faye's falling asleep. Skyboy's still awake. 
That's right. I'm sorry, Skywar. You did tell me that. You're, are you trying to sleep? You just can't get to sleep? Can't sleep. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, uh, and then, uh, Kronos, are you going to sleep after doing that check? Yeah. You all fall asleep, oddly enough. Uh, uh, trapped in a uh, jail cell is probably one of the safer places you've slept in. Um, and considering there's no creatures, at least out there, trying to find you and eat you. Um, until the morning um, kind of awakes, your eternal clocks kind of go off. Skywar has a long, restless night um, thinking about the day before. Uh, you see little uh light or little streaks of light kind of making its way through the cracks and uh cracks of the ship or light kind of bleeding in through the portholes and stuff to kind of well know that there is a uh you don't have your one which i don't think that matters but you don't no know. it's still recharged so. <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> That's not a wall in your pants there, Cordis. That's, that's, that's the morning. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'm sorry. So you, you distracted me with your wall, Cordis. Oh, my. Um, so you guys uh, awake. Uh, you see more crew been moving around and, you know, active again. The men are coming in every 10 or 15 minutes to check on you guys. Um what would you guys like to do this morning? Or are you guys just kind of hanging or resting as long as possible until you, you know, are called for? Yep. 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 Just sitting here, probably with my manacles in my lap, realizing I am tiny. <laughs> How did you not realize you could take those off? It wasn't a very animated scene down here. <laughs> I didn't have to use my hands to talk. It's, you guys are up for about an hour, uh, kind of adjusting in the morning, dealing with the men kind of coming in and harassing you. Some men have come in with little uh, ropes tied in nooses uh, to kind of taunt you. Uh, over the past hour, until eventually you see uh, the you see Victor reappear in the door, and he goes, "Well, it's about that time." And he goes over to the gate to uh, unlock the cell. And before he does it, he looks at Sully and sees that there's some broken manacles on the ground. <laughs> You're not wearing manacles like you had. You're better. and he just kind of like takes a deep breath. And shakes his head. And... I told you we're a bit crazy. Also, these are huge. Hmm. He kind of laughs to himself about your comment. That's not. Uh, uh, well, at least you were comfortable. <laughs> and uh, he opens the gate and he uh, opens the door and. Uh, he begins to kind of walk away from you and expecting you all to follow him. You see him kind of walk it through uh, the, the, arc, the hallway of the door, and there's several pirate or you know men there waiting to kind of follow in line behind you guys if once you guys follow pursuit. I stand up and leave first. Before I exit, I look back. Just think before we speak, and I walk out. Yes, we got both of those lessons. And I follow after her. We did. Okay, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Faye, Faye was very tempted to say that. <laughs> oh, God. I'm younger than you. Shush. Anna? How old are you? Uh, How old is, is Lorna? Uh, she's 25. Hey, we're the same age. Yeah. Faye is 28, but in half elf terms in comparison, that's early 20s. She's a baby in, er in elf terms. <laughs> in elf terms, I am just out of the teenage years. 
Uh, actually, I'm probably about the same in Halfling. I'm young. So, Curtis, uh, Skyborn, uh, you all, do you just follow in line? Do you guys try to do, say anything? I'm going to see what um, the captain does. Okay, so you're going to follow the group and follow Lorna up to the deck? or Is the captain following? The captain's not there. It's, it was Victor. He came no, our captain. our captain. John. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you don't lead before him, he'll, you know, he's kind of like, you, you, you want to go first? Or right, I'll go first. And then he'll walk through the, the cage after, excuse me, uh, following after Lorna and Victor. All right. Skyber will follow the, the Captain John. Tanir will follow after you, Skyboar. Uh, Faye and Anika, and Cronus, what are you guys doing? I went after Lorna. Oh, okay. I'm, follow- okay. I'm following Lorna. Yeah, okay. I'm walking out with him as well. Okay. You walk out. Uh, you guys uh, are making your way through uh, the you know main quarters. Uh, everyone but uh, Skyboar and Lorna. Go ahead if you'd like to make perception checks uh, at the room. Um, Disadvantage for me. Oh. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Everybody today. Yeah, that probably would have been a natural one, but I was a halfling, so it's a two. <laughs> this is a pretty you obvious. I, uh, you know what? I got my luck point. Thanks. I got three of them. You're not in this head. What would you like to do, (laughs) Fat? You know what? You know what? I'm I'm gonna spend one to to (laughs) re-roll. You see slightly less. It got blurrier. You got two more. (laughs) (laughs) I'm good. I'm gonna save those. Listen to the voice in your head. Do it. <laughs> All right. Weren't you the two saying, "Be cautious, be good"? No, no, this. <laughs> you guys uh, heard all about the stuff and the loot and the belongings and stuff in the room that uh, Skyboar and uh, Lorna had talked about on your way out. Um, you see, uh, you do see stuff on the table, but you're kind of like. What are you guys? What were they talking about? Kind of thing. Like it doesn't look like this these big piles that they were talking about. But you notice you can't discern anything else. They make tables taller here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so he leads you, and the crew leads you. Uh, if you guys are keeping, if they, is anyone trying to pay attention to the number or following them? I no. will. Um, what? I will take a look at like how many are following us. Well, uh, who is making another perception check? Okay. Um, you, you know when you first kind of um, left the the brig, uh, the amount of men that were following us about you know one for each of you, not including Victor. And as you guys have kind of moved through this uh, this hall. The numbers grown slightly, uh, and some of the men are kind of heckling and um, you know, harassing you guys. Um, some will say, you know, dead man walking and you know, sink or swim, and hey, we're bad guys and we say bad things. That's the kind of thing that they're saying. You guys just you guys have walked through and went to the deck. Um, again, you guys want to do anything, you can stop interrupt me at any time, but you guys are led up to the deck. Um, the bright light kind of stains for a moment, and you see a crew full of pirates that are shouting, um, um, yelling, like, uh, yelling different things like, hang, hang them, um, let's run them, to be- run them behind. Uh, anyway, as you all are on the deck, your eyes adjust. Um, go ahead and make perception checks, all of you, one more time. This is going to go well. <laughs> A lot better. It's okay. literally 10 more than my last roll. 
Uh, you all see everything except for Skyborn. Uh, so Skyborn, you're you're going to notice um, something that's kind of hard, hard to miss. You do look around the boat real quick. There's just all these many faces, so your your brain kind of drifts to you know nature, and um, you look out on the horizon and you see sea on the one side of the boat. You look around and you see more sea, but off in the distance, you do see a small little island. Uh, the rest of you oh, also see this island off in the distance, but you also notice that there are nooses um, uh, kind of draped over the masts, and <clears throat> you see the captain before you, and the, the, the crew is kind of bloodthirsty, it seems, and so you guys are kind of locked towards her, and there's kind of an obvious spot for each one of you all to stand in. Uh, the Captain John, he stands into the one slot, uh, you know, one spot, and then Tadir kind of steps into the other spot with his head kind of hung hung down. Uh, and poor then... Choice uh, words. What? I said poor choice of words. Poor choice of words. <laughs> what did I say? With Tadir's hung head down. hung down. Uh, what's another way to say that? <laughs> uh, lower? <laughs> or, uh, yeah, but the, but the captain is keeping his chin up and he's not breaking eye contact with uh, the captain of the ship. And then what would you guys do? Are you guys stepping into those positions as well? Sure, Skyward will step from one of the nooses. Yeah, this day you don't see is the one that you see. Um, so they are usually like hanging high. They're not right over your head, but they're definitely visible. That, and there's best, definitely visible that there's one for each of you, but they're not lowered down enough for you can like wrap around your, your necks at this time. I'll go in. There, if there's a spot obviously set aside for me, I go to a different one, but I will go to another one. <laughs> so. Like, I don't, I want to be clear, like, the, the, it's not like you guys are walking up on stools and they're, you know, you're getting ready for the news, but they're, there's like okay. nooses up above your head, like, Just in case. yeah, they're prepared to, mm. for a hanging, depending on how this goes. I still want that to, you know, we're, so, all right, we're fighting, guys. <laughs> yeah. uh, go ahead, uh, uh, Faye and Cronus, what are you guys doing? I'll step up. Uh, I'll step up. And uh, as I'm doing it, I'm going to pull the uh, captain's keys out and toss it to her and be like, at any point in time, we could have left last night. Okay. Um, make a persuasion check with, uh, with advantage. Oh, oh my God. I'm so I cannot pleased. give you a luck uh, point. Um, yeah, do you have a fate, fate token? I do not. I used my fate token to not get knocked out by Lorna the last time we fought. <laughs> can can oh, we yeah, give each other our fate tokens? What'd you say? I'm sorry? Can we give each other our own fate tokens? Hmm. I don't think... Is that in the rule? When we create it? Let me see it, what's at that. If I specified ever. No, because it's there is a specific or they're saying you can only use it against an enemy that's affecting your character. So I am going to imagine the the, the reverse is true. Well, it, it inadvertently affects us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, it's fine. I'll just... I this is why I hate charisma checks. Like <laughs> the, the the pitch makes perfect sense. You know, like that, I get what you're trying to do. And because you rolled poorly, it's like, well, crap. He had a good point. It's very persuasive. It makes sense. It's plausible. Should we well, do a check, though? So, you know what I mean? How, how I would have done it is like, if it's so obvious, then it should automatically succeed. If it's obvious, you know. But if it's something like uh, that, it could still be, you know, work, work in your favor, then you roll it. 
And if it's something that's obviously won't work, then no matter how high you roll, you're still going to fail. Even if you roll natural 20 and you got expertise and all that stuff. If okay. it's obvious, you automatically. Um, it's obvious to me, knowing the captain's personality and like her wants, her needs, and her background. So I I still like what you're trying to do here, Chrono. So where I'm just going to disregard the role because I think it's a perfect tactic and I, a clever use of the keys too. So no, 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 boo, boo. I'm overrolling the role. <laughs> and so she pauses. She's definitely frustrated. But she uh, kind of takes the keys and hand, um, lowers them to her belt. Um, also, I did not say this because you all, because of everyone's pe- perception checks, you do notice also your belongings, almost the six separate piles that are kind of near the uh, the edge of the railing of the ship. You six or yeah no seven right seven mm-hmm. seven seven now okay you seven don't deserve you know there's no reason for us to keep you alive you're not going to work our, our ship without uh without being a complete pain in our, our ass and yet you the way you guys speak for one another is very admirable. But my crew runs on money and when things go against them and they need entertainment, I usually let them have their their pleasure and um, blood and other spoils of war. And the men kind of start laughing and kind of smiling and smirking to themselves like but today is not up to me. Eventually, it's really it will be up to destiny and you. Upon this island, there lies a treasure that we have been seeking. And perhaps if you guys were to go fetch it for us, we might make sure that you see dry land again. Um, you know, off the island. <laughs> but if you should fail, my men will still get what they wish or what they want. So, men, there will not be a hanging today. And there's obvious disappointment um, that she calms down real quick. Uh, her brother's on edge to make sure that the men are kind of kind of getting unruly or mutinous or anything like that. Uh, calm down. What they will have is not a guaranteed life either. You have a pirate, or, or you have a the dead man's cha- chance. And she, uh, the as soon as she says that, uh, the men start getting really amicable again, and several of them start scurrying around, and you see some men bring up this huge board, and they're moving around, they're sliding things out of the way, and then essentially they have a plank that's walk, uh, off the edge of the boat, um, past the rail where all your stuff is, and she goes, it does seem to have you uh, uh, survive and reach, this, uh, reach the island, then go find our artifact and bring it to us. And perhaps we will make sure that you find um, or make your way to another port. Um, the men are all happy. Is, is there anything you guys want to say or do? You guys may interrupt at any time. I step forward. If, um, yeah. So you want to step forward to towards the cabin. Uh, offer your or towards the cabin? Okay. What would you like to do? If we cannot obtain this treasure, yet we make it back, will you consider my offer? 
If you don't have the treasure, don't bother coming back. I shall not tell Blackbeard of, as far as I, as far as I'm concerned, if you're not on my, uh, if we drop you back into the water, whatever happens, happens, and I don't know of you and your friends. Okay. I look back at everybody else. Shall we? Let's do it. I walk over. Anika just looks frustrated, but yeah. So uh, the captain, um, John, will step up you know, uh, like, uh, to, to go first. And the captain holds up her hand. Not you. You will stay here. So they don't try to, if they do survive, they don't try to make away with our artifact. And uh, the men grab him by the collar take him away from the, the, the plank. And uh, Sienna will motion at you. All I'm like, well, after you. And she kind of points at you, uh, Laura, first. I look at my bags. Are we at least allowed our stuff to guarantee a better chance of getting your treasure? She, she says... It depends on how well you swim. And she looks over her men, and they grab your bag, your bound belongings, your sword, and everything is all kind of tied and bound together. Oh, fuck. Um, they, one man comes, or you're not wearing your manacles. Uh, they, uh, so, and he, the other guy that grabs your stuff, throws it overboard. I run and jump. Uh, okay. Dive. Uh, you dive in, and we're, your split reaction to you're able to get your stuff uh, immediately. Um, so, using um, kind of the mechanics of uh, the Cronus's chase system, I like. We will be using that mechanic here very shortly. <laughs> um, the other, the rest of you, she she kind of motions to the rest of you to you know, to, to follow suit. Uh, your she motions to you next, Fay, saying, "Well, are you joining your friend?" I am. And then another man does this. Uh, well, someone comes up to you and unlocks your manacles. And the other man does the same thing, grabbing your, your bag of belongings and your, your your kit and throws it overboard. Wait, wait, wait. Before you do that, there's a book in there ah. that's not supposed to get wet at all. Uh, I'm going to replace that back in Minzo. And I jump after it. Okay. Uh, Cronus Make is him. actually going to volunteer to go after Faye. Okay. Make an athletic check. Faye, uh, see uh, if you can catch up. You know, Is that for swimming athletics? Yeah. Athletics, yeah, I guess. Athletics. Woohoo. Negative one. <laughs> I Ooh. will use a fate. Or I will. No, I'm not going to use a lucky point. It's not worth it okay. with the negative one in that skill. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and make a dex check or a dex save for me. Okay. Try try make another athletics check. So you miss with your first grasp at it in, as you try to catch up to it. Oh, and it's sinking further and further away. Can I uh, try to Marta, dive down? You, you do see Faye going deep into the water trying to ch chase after her belongings. Can I dive down with um, her? You can. You will have to make an athletics check, yes. Okay. okay. One of those catch up to you, uh, Faye, and she attempts to try to grab your bag, and at, in the nick of time, she does grab it from going to you know into total darkness of the of the water, the deep water. Um, she hands it to both of you. Uh, I'm gonna need. Uh, you haven't been underwater that long, so I've been what 15, 30 seconds. So there's no con saving you. So you swim back to the surface bay with your bag of belongings, and you too, Lorna, um, as you break for air. 
do you guys start swimming to the island right away or do you wait for the rest of your group? I'm going to wait for the rest of the group. I will wait for the rest of the group. Okay. Uh, in similar fashion, so Cronus, you step up, they throw your belongings in. You uh, I'm going to flip my hood up on my cloak before I jump in. Oh, very nice. Okay. So you flip your cloak hood up and um, jump into the water and uh, you're able to, with that, you're able to get your belongings without much issue. And then I'm uh, just going to cloak water breathing as well? Yes. Okay. And then uh, Skyborn or Anika, Skyborn, I think you said you want to go last. Or Anika, are you okay with going next? Or is there something you want to say or do? Oh, she wants to say many things, but she's not going to. She's just going to sarcastically look at the captain, open her mouth to say something, look at Skyborn, shut it, and swan dive off the <laughs> While flipping the bird. <laughs> <laughs> Metaphorically, yes. <laughs> So uh, they were actually, uh, they're kind of laughing at the child, <laughs> the little person, and they're like, just give her, give her her things, and they throw it right to you as soon as you swan dive into the water. Um, Skybor, you can go up, or you want to go after Tanir, then steps up, and he goes, no, you stay too. You're not with them. <gasps> not Tanir. And so... Um, the men walk up and yank to your way. He's looking very frantic and scared. Um, uh, Skybor, what would you like to do? Walk up to the planks or? Yeah, Skybor will walk up to the plank. Then he turns around and uh, asks uh, the captain, what was that man's name that went overboard? The, the man that you killed and drowned? Yes. Who's name was? <laughs> you just ruined the mood. I know. <laughs> you I, it. It. I know. I'm so sorry. His name is Redshirt32. Um, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> um, actually, let me pull my list of prepared names for you. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. I have no human names prepared. That's fantastic. Uh, Henchman number one. His name was... Uh, His name was Red? Jack. His name was Jack. <laughs> Sparrow! <laughs> <laughs> no, he had a jar of dirt. <laughs> he had a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. <laughs> oh, Hermes, or Skyboy, you always keep me on my toes. I got to get better at that. <laughs> uh, so she shares his name with you. Um, and they grab your belongings and throw it overboard. What would you like to do? So it's just Jack? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. He uh, walks off the plank, and as he falls into the water, he turns into a shark. Okay. You grab your belongings and uh, you guys are now swimming towards the island, all six of you. Um, um, if Skyward doesn't ahead. grab his belongings as he turns into a shark, I'll grab them for him. I got a mouth. Okay. You just didn't say you're going to pick them up, but okay. <laughs> okay. So I, I, I imagine Skyward swimming in animal form. Uh, Cronus, you have water breathing as well as swim speed, so you're doing your fishy thing too. Um, no one else has a water breathing or swimming um, magic items, correct? Nope. Uh, no, but uh, I have a thing I can do once per day. What's that? I'm polypor polymorph myself into a dolphin. Okay. Oh, then I am grabbing the dorsal fin of Faye so she can pull me. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's all good. Um, I'll, just I'll give a Nico. <laughs> hmm? I'll give Nico a lift 
You should probably give Lorna what I have. <laughs> and Anika grabbed on the Faye. Do you want to help Lorna or do you want to help? Oh, I thought Lorna uh, grabbed a. Okay. Well, yeah, Lorna. Cool. I'll hold on to the shirt. What is the, what is the swim speed of a dolphin? I don't know. Uh, I'm probably just use a shark. 60 feet. 60 feet. <laughs> yes. Um, so. Hmm. I really wasn't prepared for everyone to turn into fish, so <laughs> my chase... <laughs> I am not a fish, thank you. I am a mammal. Uh, so my the mechanics of how I kinda had this written out is gonna we're gonna have to kinda fly by the seat of my pants and insert here where it makes sense to me. So I'm not gonna do the whole feet per second a mile. We're just we're gonna just kinda play it's almost like a like a chase scene. Um so uh, you guys are swimming at full speed, trying to make the island. You guys are doing, um, traveling a, a great distance. Kronos is, in, is far, uh, far ahead of your group. Um, and they and Skywars, you are towing Anika and uh, Lorna with you, are doing your best to move at full speed as you can, but it is uh, taxing to carry uh, the extra weight. Uh, no offense to Lorna, but a little bit more so <laughs> to Skyborg than it is to Faye. It's all the, um, dolphin is, the dolphin is stronger than Faye. Um, yeah, she's just, I'm also probably about a quarter of Lorna's weight. <laughs> At least. <laughs> yep. And your gears are carrying your gear, too. So, uh, so since you guys are just holding on, um, what I would like you guys to do is make athletics checks to hold on each round here. Okay. Um, and what is every, each one of your, what is everyone's con modifier? And starting with you, Anika. Uh, three. Nice. Uh, Corus, yours is three, two, right? Corus, yours two. Uh, Faye, yours is? Currently, in dolphin form, it is one, but dolphins have the ability called hold breath, where they can hold their breath for 20 minutes. Okay, so, but their con is one, okay. Uh, Skyboy, you're, what you, what's your, your stats, sir, in shark form? Yeah, Reef Shark. Uh, it is 13, plus one. Which gives me a plus one. Yeah, gives mm -hmm. me a plus one. Okay. Let me make sure I got everything here. I think I missed someone. Yes, thank you. I'm like, I have four <laughs> names. I need a fifth one. Uh, <laughs> minus five. Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's the barbarian. Come on, man. She's supposed to be made of hit points. I am until I okay. got taken away. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I don't think you want to know this, but never mind, I will tell you. Fuck. Because you'd probably get mad. Um, <laughs> so, for Skyborg and Cronus and Faye, I need uh, con, con checks. Not con saves, but con checks. Okay, this will be a plus one to it. That's a 13. I got a 12. And Cronus, you, uh, so Cronus, now you, so sir, you have a uh, one point of exhaustion right now. So that makes you, I think, disadvantage on checks, right? Mm -hmm. Ability check. Actually, I was going to make Faye and, uh, well, it's too late now, but while you guys have people riding on you, Faye and um, Skywar, I was going to make you guys roll at disadvantage, but I didn't okay. say that already. That's fine. I can roll again. Yeah, we can okay. roll yeah. again. It's just a dice. To, to be fair, so go ahead and roll. 11. <laughs> okay, so you both, uh, you both are good. You haven't suffered any points of exhaustion yet. Good. But now I need Anika. And Lorna to make a uh, athletics check to hold, try to hold on as they're, you know, they're moving at such a high speed. And oh no! Um, <laughs> you guys are fine. You're Eleven and thirteen. 
Um, no, nine. You know, they're... I got a nat one. Oh, you disadvantage? Yeah, because I... Oh, that's you right. Reckless a lot. I, yeah, I went into a frenzied rage that's at right. least twice. Okay, so Lorna, you uh, you do fall off. Uh, you fall off of uh, Cyborg. You he kind of his speed is, is moving at um, such momentum. Uh, Skyver, what would you do? Um, and Anika, you're still holding on, so you're st- still moving through the water. Is there anything that you guys would like to do? Uh, I don't think there's anything I can do. Yeah, I think this is more going to be specific to Skyward, because he's going to be the one that immediately knows, too. Like, obviously, there's Lorna's not holding on to him anymore. Which, you gonna, are you, what would you like to do, Skyward? I'm going to go after Lorna. Okay. So you circle back, um, pick up Lorna. So, it's your, your, your progress in this round has you know, suffered from it. Yeah. It's not a race. Sorry, Scott. Correct. Yeah. They're not, you're not, you're not. It's not a race, but. Uh, Wait, is it a race? If, it, is there a if it was, <laughs> it's not a race, but Cronus is winning. <laughs> 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 okay, so um, you guys are still trying to make your way to the island. I mean, you guys go ahead and make a. Uh, uh, Nico, want to make a flash checks to hold on to your comrades and Skyboard, Cronus, and Faye. Please make three or another con check, please. How far are we? Mm. All, right. All right. So I got a four. <gasps> what Twelve. Was that second one. Oh, that was just a thing. I can't. Hold on. I'm so sorry. Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can hear you. Yes, I guess you I guess couldn't hear me before. Um, so, sorry. Lauren and Anika, you guys are good. Carnage, you're good. Skyroar, you said, you, I see a 16. Did you roll something else? I rolled hello? a four, so I must have failed. Okay. I'm sorry. I only saw the 16, so I didn't see the four. That's what I was trying to find. So, yes, you failed that round. Uh, Faye, you're good. So, uh, you guys, so Anika, Anika, Cronus, Faye, Skybor, Amora, you guys could to end you before, but um, Skybor, to try to keep up with, and maintain his pace, it's really draining on you, and you uh, suffer one point of exhaustion. Oh, wait. Goody. How far are we, and is there immediate danger? There's no immediate dangers of like creatures coming at you at this time. The ship's not coming after you pursuing. No one's no one's doing like that. Uh, you guys are again. I didn't measure this. I wrote it mechanically out, but you need to make. Um, I'll just say you guys are about a quarter of the way there. Okay. No, 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 no. Sorry, because this this is this considers the fact that you guys did your your dash before you had to start doing this contract. So. I'm sorry. You probably are uh, less than halfway to go. Like you only have a little less than half to still make it there from where you first started at on the boat. Let me check something. Okay. So I I basically we're not having rounds now. Cronus is going to get there a little bit sooner. I'll, I'll factor things like that as best I can. Um, What's the shark speed? Oh, I got it right here. Never mind. Uh. Okay, I'm now going to be moving at 20 feet. No, fuck this. <laughs> uh, so Anika pulls off a cartoon patch of a little sailboat on her robe and tosses it in the air and out materializes a 12 foot long rowboat. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to climb uh, on. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, Anika was on Faye. Faye, Anika uh, also is off of you in, in a nice, warm, and dry boat. 
Um, my intelligence is currently six. So, uh, I, Deep all I know is to go towards the island. <laughs> I will you're, look to you're Lord. You're not retarded. <laughs> you're not retarded. Six doesn't yeah. make you a retard. It just you means you're not smart. You still know it's a boat, and it would be easier. Skybor, for a brief moment, had an intelligence of six. <laughs> that it's is okay. True. <laughs> that is true. But, but Faye's also having fun. Is a dolphin. Oh, fair. Considering the circle, Lorna, yes. Skybor, you guys want to ride? Uh, Skybor will drop Lorna off on the boat. Thank you. And if y'all provide rope, I could pull the boat. Um, do I? I will look through my. While well, in the boat, you do. Uh, you you will open up your packs, and you do get some of your belongings. Will will resolve what's there, and not there after this, but. You do have rope in your in your packs. Actually, I don't because I didn't actually ever have rope. I do, so I will loop that rope. I'll tie it onto the boat. It is a rowboat too, so we do have oars. We do have oars. I could always just yep. paddle us there because you're going to be tired then, real tired. I can help you paddle it. the board too. Yeah, we can paddle. Okay, we'll try we can paddle. We can tell you, Skybor. <laughs> okay, so Skybor is towing, uh, but you guys are also paddling, yeah. and as you guys are... Okay, mm -hmm. so what I'll say to that is no more disadvantage for any of you guys. You're just going to just roll, you know. Okay. Uh, I say because you're in a boat, too, okay. you're going to have advantage. Um, so Skybor, you're, 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 you have an advantage now that you're not being ridden, Florida, and you're an aquatic creature. Laura, you go ahead and have advantage uh, because you guys are rowing together and being towed. The same with you, Anika. Oh and they, the same with you as well because you are an aquatic creature and no longer being ridden either. I failed again. 17. Yeah. 17. Skyward, okay. don't you have advantage? I have disadvantage, therefore it cancels yeah. out. So I failed yeah. again. So, all right, so... Let me see. Anika, you're good. I'm oh, sorry, uh, Faye, you're good. Uh, Lorna, go ahead and do a con check. We're going to just keep using the dash mechanic then. I'm sorry. Yeah. You too, Anika. So you're good, Lorna. Oh. Uh, you have advantage, Anika and Lorna, but you both are good. I'm on disadvantage yeah. for all. Oh, oh, oh that's right. I'm sorry. Yep. So Lorna, Anika's good. Uh, <laughs> Faye's good. Skyboard, you suffer another point of exhaustion. That's Harness, cool. you suffer another point of exhaustion. So, so how many exhaustion points do you guys have at this time? I have three. Well, I have two. Are we being chased? Do we have to go this fast? I mean, you guys are moving nonstop. I, th I mean, you guys can slow down, I guess, if you want. You, I mean, no, you, guys, you could slow down if you want. Uh, how long has it been? Uh, at this pace, it would be maybe 15 minutes since you jumped off the boat. Uh, and you guys are just a little bit further out. Uh, a couple probably, you know, mechanically speaking, a couple more rounds of this. All right. I'm just keeping track of Polymorph because I got about 45 minutes left. Oh, yeah, you're, you've got time on that then. Um, Cronus has three, you said, and Skywar has two, or, or Cronus has two, Skywar has three. Yep. All right, now that does, what is two? Let me put my exhaustion chart. It halves your speed. Two halves your speed, and uh, three gives you disadvantage on attack and saving three. Okay, so you both are moving at half speed now. Yep. All right. Um, with Cronus, it's maybe he's at normal speed now. <laughs> 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 so uh, go ahead, guys, and make, uh, you guys are getting closer and closer to the shoreline. The island's not so you know the hazy, uh, the hazy kind of blue. It's it's now becoming sharper and sharper as you guys get closer on the island. Um, Go ahead and make a uh, another uh, uh, con check. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, 
Uh, that's a very wow. good question. Man. Oh my god. My what? maximum hit points is now halved. Twelve. Isn't it one right. more and you're dead? No, that's up to six. I'm now at four. Okay, so Kermit, Anika, Faye, Lorna, you're, you do uh, suffer a point of exhaustion as well, rowing the boat. Great. Now, uh, you guys through this system can't get go past five points of exhaustion. So if you do reach five, let me know. Um, but does everyone know the mechanics of the exhaustion things, or do I need to want me to read that out for you guys, or is everyone good on applying that to their stuff? I have pinned it in the handouts and for the homebrew reminders. Okay, yeah, I see it there. I just have everyone need a reminder. Uh, all right, uh, you guys keep going. Um, and go ahead, uh, the shore is uh, even closer now. Go ahead and make one more uh, con check. I, I look at Skyboar. There we go. <laughs> okay, that's my... I lose. Does Skyboar lose a point of exhaustion? <laughs> I lose a point of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Okay. So, I am uh... spending, I'm spending a luck point. <clears throat> I'm spending a luck point to avoid a natural one. I will take the seven. <laughs> Um, oh, Phil. Right. So it's you it's take, better than uh, a one. <laughs> you take a point of exhaustion, Faye. Uh, I think everyone, you know, and then Cronus, you take another point of exhaustion as well. And How many is that for Cronus? Three. I think you're at four. You failed last one, didn't you? I have failed three so far. Oh, that's right. You, no, you passed last one. I'm sorry. Yep. And you guys now can uh, see the waves are breaking, the breaking on like the sandbar. So uh, you all do uh, find yourself approaching this. The, the water is shallowing. You guys are able to kind of catch your legs on the sandbar, stand up, catch your breath, uh, the, uh, but not for long before the waves, uh, these, the size of the waves are like breaking behind you and kind of pushing you down. And, just being exhausted, some of you, it's just, it's making a little work of you guys. Uh, if you want to try to stand against the, the tide, uh, you can make an athletics check, but otherwise it pushes you forward closer to the beach and you guys can swim the rest of your way ashore and find yourself uh, on on dry land once more. Um, and you guys may do what you like now that you're on dry land. Skyboard will beach himself as a shark. Then he's going to turn back to normal, face down in the sand. I'm going okay. to check on Skyboard. Uh, you know, I did uh, tell you you could get in the boat. And I'm going to pull the boat further off out of the water. Oh, get on land and drop concentration. I have a question okay, for that the polymorphers lot... and the casters. Because they asked me a great question. So the exhaustion accrued through this through this kind of thing is real. Uh, this is mad ass. So sorry, but you guys. It's actually a very problem. good question. You could you do a short rest, but does the exhaustion point no. come after the animal form? Out of the animal form? Mm, I don't know. That, I don't I, know. Because I'm wondering for Faye because Faye's dolphin took it. Well, that's like a. Uh... That's like that question when we were, uh, when I was scouting ahead about the potions and me being a brat. Yeah, it's, I know, I agree. But it's it's almost like it's still a strain on your body. Like, your, your, it's not just your, as simple as your health pool. It's like your stamina and ability to kind of control. But if it was that, it should use your character's constitution and not your creature's constitution, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. for Faye and Skyboard, it wasn't their cons. That's so kind of were thinking. they exhausted, or do they just like say, have a headache? I would say that uh, that uh, they get the exhaustion, much like how if you take hit points and it carries over to uh, your, it goes. That's over. true. That's true. Yeah, negative um, hit points doesn't come, up, yeah. come over. 
Um, yeah, I'm just I, I'm just reading it real quick. Yeah, I would argue that is because it comes over because you get the transformation like halfway through the hit, but I can see that. Let's do this. Uh, I I think it makes sense for some exhaustion to happen during this effort because you know it is a strain still to maintain your form and be this other creature and keep your sanity um, and just endure that kind of toll on your body, even if it was, you know, in a different state. How about when you go back to the other form, we'll just uh, reduce the total number of points of exhaustion by one, because it still makes sense that it had packs you, but I can see, because it's not your own con, that you take the full impact, so. So, so I am sure. not exhausted at all. <laughs> if you only had one, yeah, you're you're good now, back in your later form. So if you had two, you have one now, if you were in an animal form. All right. That was a lot of fun. Good man. The rest uh, of you look like shit. Now that you guys have are on dry land, you uh, actually each of you go ahead and make me a perception check. Okay, let's see what we see. Oh, that's disadvantage. Even with disadvantage, I roll pretty well. So, um, so Skyboy, Lana, and Bay, you guys are going to notice a little something extra. But, I mean, and nothing you know, too world shattering. I, I actually got a 12, uh, sorry. I won't see this. Oh, okay. Uh, are you, oh, well, sorry, Skyboard and Fair, are you guys rolling at disadvantage? Who's rolling at disadvantage or advantage? I'm sorry. I am. I I'm rolling normal. Normal. Okay. Cronus is at disadvantage as well. Okay. I think me and Faye are the only ones at normal. So, Morna, Anika, Cronus, and that's it. Uh, well, God, in the rest of you guys, uh, in the rest of you that rolled very high, um, you guys quickly notice uh, that there's the two ears there, but Skyboard would have already known that because he, you know, saw him get pulled off the side at the end. Uh, Lorna and, I'm oh, sorry, not Lorna, Skyboard and Faye and Cronus, no, I'm sorry, Skyboard and Faye, you guys would uh, get See this, but you'll also go ahead and take in the, the look of the island. You see, you know, a very dense kind of tropical jungle before you, and um, cliffs and mountains, and uh, off to the side, the beach kind of goes off into the horizon for a little bit before you start to see it bend. Um, so it, it's a, a fairly decent sized island, um, but right now, you don't, that's you're just kind of making, you're just getting your bearings on the terrain. Does anyone know what we're looking for? I just thought of that. We didn't ask for nope, a map. Nope, I was too scared to talk. We didn't ask for a map or what it looked like. All we know is it's treasure on the island. That's that an they artifact. were. That they couldn't get themselves. Yeah. They have the numbers and obviously the strength. Or is that Skyboard? Did they say that they couldn't get it? No. No. They'll get it either but, way. They just are giving yeah. us a chance. Apparently it's entertaining. Although I don't see how, it's not like they can see us. Or can they? They have to watch have you take, magic. A nice, a nice, <laughs> they have to watch you take a nice swim. <laughs> All right, guys. I think uh, we're uh, running over time. Is there anything you guys want to resolve before we close the session? Now, I do uh, want to resolve your uh, items. Let's list see what we. Yeah, let's see what we have for our inventory. Okay, I've been holding it in so long because I didn't want to ruin the moment, even though I ruined the moment. Anyways, the Skyboard tricked me with his questions. Um, I would just like to announce that currently Skyboard is the richest party member. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Actually, I think Lorna no. might be because bag of holding. I don't have. Well, did they give me the bag of holding? You do have. You do have a bag of holding. Okay. And this is what is missing from everyone's inventory. <laughs> sorry, let me get my notes up. Oh, I'm sorry. I got 15 gold and five silver. Ooh. Oh God! How much did I have before? Just post in the chat everything. 
<laughs> right. I've lost everything. Oh god. I'm assuming they don't want a flute. <laughs> or a book about stars that is now very waterlogged. I, I, I wrote wrote this down. I'm All guessing right. they don't want a trashy romance novel that's written in Undercommon. You never know. And we don't know who this captain is, so let me let me read the list off. It's gonna be way easier versus you asking me. It's not this, is it? <laughs> so for Faye. We're just joking. I know, I know. Uh Faye, you lost your signet ring, your shield plus one, a vial of poison, your potions of healing, and the earring of whisper and your gold, which I already re reduced that on. I think I reduced it on everyone's sheet already to zero, except for Sky Wars. Oh shit, I got three platinum? <laughs> that shield is oh. a family heirloom. Sorry, Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, can you move your platinum to zero as well? Uh, <laughs> they would have taken all, all your money. Sorry. Yeah. So I do um, have, actually, I do have can, the can, golden sheet of paper, right? Uh, hmm. I didn't write down, so yes, you still have it. Um, but Anika, what was that platinum? I just want to keep track of it. Three. I'm not a, a dick of a GM. I, I, I it'll balance itself out in the narrative. I will <laughs> lower my AC. Here, I will lower my <laughs> AC to seventeen. Lorna, uh, you not discussing the bag of holding yet, but you are uh, you lost your three hundred twenty-five gold. Okay. And your, uh, but actually, the captain did return your amulet, uh, your amulet back to you. Oh. That's it. Um, you must have uh, struck a chord with her at some point in your conversation with her the night before. Yeah. Uh, Chorus, uh, they. They gave you back your jar of acid vomit, and uh, they gave you back your weapons and everything, but you are missing all your money. Uh, you don't have the earring or whisper, and they did take your wand of magic missiles. Uh, Faye, I, if you, you don't have any scrolls of magic, right? That was the thing that caught me off guard, because I didn't see it in your inventory sheet, so if you the know lightning, the they didn't The lightning it. bolt I used... Last time was my only one. Okay. And then Anika, uh, they took your rubies. They took your potion of healing. They took your platinum pieces and your, and your gold on your, and all your money on your character. Uh, and they, I didn't, it wasn't, it was last used by Laura, but they took your flying broom as well. That's uh, base, but now, yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the currency, <clears throat> in the bag of holding, they took all your money. The money is gone. Oh, no. Uh, okay, hold on. They figured out how to get the money. <laughs> Wait, so well, I still have... I still all you have... gotta do is turn the bag inside out and everything falls out. Yeah, hold on. I need a so, I have my stone? Um, I knew I forgot to write something down. Yep, you have your stone. I didn't write it down. Sweet. Because otherwise those checks should have been different if they weren't. But if I have it, then I'm good. Apparently I didn't do a very good job rushing through this uh, to look at all your potions, but I didn't write those down either. But you, they did take uh, your diamonds and your platinum rings. Um, so they took both your diamonds and your platinum rings as well. Assuming they took they, my super greater potion too. Which actually, you, you don't have the... Uh, diamonds. They took all your potions of healing. Yeah, Nika, that's what I thought. Sorry. Um, they, you guys don't have the diamonds though, yeah. because Wolfram's character cast mm -hmm. one of those spells into your crown, which consumes the component material. He only components, did right? one then. So we have one yep. revivify. <laughs> yep. So he okay. So you only have, so you only have one, one diamond yeah. in the bag then still. Okay, so that's not there either. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, what about my everything. shiny pet rock? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Unless, they're not interested in rocks. You're fine. <laughs> for some reason, perhaps it spoke to them. They did not want it. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a black onyx spear. They did not take that either. 
Did they take scorn? They did not. All weapons and armor, um, short of the shield, uh, basically was returned to all you, including your instruments, uh, Anika. But they took all the stuff that was of immediate value or that immediately they knew was uh, magic related. Uh, but obviously, they did, they did thoroughly go through everything because uh, your GM misread some of your inventory. <laughs> but, uh, yes, uh, they did take the, di- the one diamond that you had left and all the money that was in your bag of holding and kind of haphazardly threw the stuff back into the bag. And all the well, hey guys, good news. I have a healer's kit. I have six. That's good. I think it remind me, after we get this treasure for them, I'm getting my shield back. Mm. You said we weren't allowed to fight them. Not allowed to fight them, but that was my mother's shield. Right. How do you plan on getting it back? We'll see. Hmm. After all this happens. That's fair. Plus, for all we know, this artifact it could be a item of Merlin. I swear to God, if it is, we're breaking our skyward. <laughs> <laughs> we can't uh, let them have an article of Merlin without knowing they're on our side. Yeah. Uh, Are they I mean, aware if it may be an artifact of Merlin? Hmm? Would they know if it may be an artifact of Merlin? They recognize the well, symbol on my body. Well, it depends if it's like Lorna's that has the very obvious side of Merlin, or if it's like Faye's and it's just a crown. So, uh. So, yeah, they in in well, I don't. Was that just a conversation with you, Lorna, um, about because they did mention items, but they never mentioned anything specifically to. Oh, your I know. I can't remember if that was private or not. Was no, it? I'm pretty sure it was private. Oh, no, no, okay. no, no. Well, in when uh, the first mate you mentioned it to us. came to grab me, yeah. he was like, uh, the captain wants to see the person with the artifacts of Merlin. And I stood oh, up. Oh, yeah, with the sign oh, no, of Merlin the on the symbol, symbol of Merlin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they did recognize it. I hope I said symbol of Merlin and not artifact of Merlin. If I did, it was a slip. No, you have to say symbol of Merlin because, yeah, and then if that other conversation is in private, I'm going to start and stop talking now. Uh, <laughs> you said symbol, but she did mention she wanted us to find an artifact on this island, which Nika very obviously heard artifact and is worried. Okay. All right. I fumble with my words. I appreciate your grace and patience. It's really. Uh, um, with me sometimes when I get sort of hey, fumbling really bad. Thanks so. for dealing with our shit, so. No! What are you talking about? We're fine. Yeah. You guys we're, did we did a lot be- We did a lot better than last time. Okay. Yeah. I didn't yeah. actually flip off a boat full of pirates true. like I wanted to. One, I'm not, I'm going sorry, to one thing, beg of holding, clarification. Uh, did they take the keg of mead from Menzo? Oh, did they? Did they? I didn't even see it in the bag of holding. <laughs> Where's the we have some shields in the bag of holding that we were going to well, sell? No, we donated those. No, we gave them away. <laughs> <laughs> we gave them to Arm Dahlenberg. <laughs> but can we get drunk on an island? Oh, uh... They're hmm. pirates. They would have taken that. They would have taken it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, if, if the gold is a kind of like a de facto, like they're taking all gold and money and gems for sure. I think mead is up there too. Fuck. And that was some good shit. Okay. So oh, I will let you. Making me drink. <laughs> yes. I will let you update the group thing. Um, I'm going to share this little write up here. I just have individually notes here. Um, let me uh, let me add the group loot here to my notes here. So I'll just share one thing with you if that helps you kind of update your inventory, Lorna. But yeah, uh, for everyone else, just go ahead and update your character sheets accordingly. Um, I wouldn't. Um, no, yeah, go ahead and just. Update your character sheets accordingly. Yeah. Try to I, really 
I Go currently ahead. have an AC of 17. Uh, I currently did not call the captain uh, many things I wanted to. <gasps> and implied she was weak. <laughs> so to be clear, Skybor has all of his stuff. Correct. Because okay. he travels light. Yeah, and you have fifty. You have the most gold of the party. <laughs> See, slow and steady wins the way race. Uh, so awesome. Um, I had a lot of fun. I know I was. I, I felt like the start of the night was a little preachy, but I do want to give uh, exceptional kudos to you, Skyboard. That was amazing. I did not want to interrupt you. I was really waiting for you to say. Skybor out, so we can know where to jump in. I didn't, I didn't want to interrupt you. I feel like you did an amazing job. Um, that was really awesome, and everyone else did really good. Um, Laura, you did excellent talking to the cat. Y'all did fantastic. Um, I'm sorry if it came off too preachy at any point of the night. Um, you know, I, we all get what happened. It's it's not a big deal. I'm not upset. I just just trying to help avoid those confusions down the road, but. Um, I think you all played amazing, and I had a really fun time running the session. Sorry there wasn't any combat. I enjoyed the role play tonight. That was awesome. Mm-hmm. Skyward. It was fun. You literally had me See. crying. <laughs> I I was actually tearing. Yeah. Same. It they doesn't happen. To Skyward. I was like. <laughs> First dramatic performance in Pirates of Byzantine. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. That being said, uh, Skybor, uh, I imagine it looks, uh, we, well, actually, you know what? Uh, I'll, if you don't mind, Skybor and Wolfram, I'll borrow you guys for a quick five okay. seconds, and I'm glad you could join us, Wolfram. Um, if you have time, Wolfram, I, um, you want to do roll your I am, character stats? I am very tired, but I will do so, and I do still have to talk to you about it. I know I've been annoying in your DMs. But that's just, fine, I'm just trying to keep up. <laughs> that's just because I'm a very nervous nanny. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, and I don't like saying no, but I also like to find the middle ground on some of the ideas. But I think yours, um, your ideas that you share, I really am digging. So, uh, and we don't have to make everything concrete for day one. I have a pretty good idea how to get. You. Are you coming back next week? Then I will be back next week. Yes. Yay. Okay. And I. I'm gonna have to remember what's my what's the uh, stat rolling rule. Let me look at it. For it is. I, I made a test sheet with the standard array. So. Okay. You're welcome. Well, this. You can use the standard so array, I just, guess, or. I, I made it for both of the options to see, you know, just how well it turned out. But I will roll if that is what you want. So uh, just roll a 4d6, uh, re-roll the ones, and drop the lowest die. Uh, so you'll have, you know, so here's the Mac, or here's the thing, unless you want to do it manually here. Yeah. The macro, if you could. Yeah, so you should just be able to copy that text and paste it into the chat channel. Um, and then Skyboard, if, if, uh, I know it's late. If you don't mind sticking around that once I get uh, Wolfram situated with everything he needs, uh, I just want to talk to you real quick about something else. And did anybody else have any questions or any, anything for me tonight? Or how, how did everyone like the session? Any changes, any tweaks or adjustments, um, things that happened that you didn't, that didn't sit well? No, it was great. Mm-mm. It was good. be interesting to see how Long and Nico keeps her mouth shut. This is the complete opposite of last session. Oh, yeah. Last session was nothing but combat. This is nothing but role play. It, it, was, it was good. Can't, yeah. can't promise I learned anything, <laughs> but she's going to try. Yeah, I just hope it was. It didn't feel. I hope, I hope it is that it was amazing and it was a great session. I just hope it didn't come off as too heavy scolding. I didn't want anyone to feel. I think it's important to call like Skyward's rant is his character's rant. Um, you know, I, I think that was excellent that you guys are able to separate the two. Oh, yeah, no. And Nico was like, yep, yeah, we did dumb. 
Quit talking about it. I'm gonna go to sleep. Yeah, we yeah, did. I'm guys, going to bed. <laughs> I really think that's awesome. Um, I really, you know, I'm not trying to just fluff you guys up, but I, we are. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty lucky. You guys are really easy to kind of get along, and you know, you guys are creative, so it's been. I mean, you make it pretty easy for me to learn this game. So I appreciate it. Uh, let me see. Uh, so. Well, from those are going to be your attributes that you can plug in for your next character, and mm-hmm. definitely blow my phone up, man, with the DMs because um, you are going with the orc character, right? Well, that is what I did want to talk about because after <laughs> okay doing some back and forth with Skybor and our own little DMs, I figured that maybe doing the War Wizard would be best to have another level head in the party. Okay. <laughs> because because Magful <laughs> That's not a is, bad idea. Like, if I know that I constantly talk about it, but if you guys have not witnessed Warhammer orcs, that is exactly what he is. He is violence and conflict is fun for him. Whereas I'm trying to go, whereas after I've seen this, a more level head and calm approach is needed with a war wizard and cleric hybrid. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will support. We can talk about that offline. And uh, I, I probably have time. If you don't mind, I'll go smoke real quick. I do want to talk about Skywarn or something too, real quick. If you have time tonight, I, I have time. But I know you're tired. I appreciate you hopping in just to kind of throw your stats and stuff. Yeah, I just, um, I really so just wanted to see where you guys were at, considering <laughs> I got updated with, oh, we're, you guys are dead, supposedly. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, 